Right, let's get to it then. So, it's a real variety stream. This stream's always been a variety stream. We didn't even start out doing grand strategy. First stream was far from that. Today, what I have is a lucky bag of various games that I picked up in the recent Steam Spring Sale. I don't know how many we'll get through. I have no guarantees on the quality of them or how long we're going to spend on each of them. Could be minutes, could be hours. Some of these games, I don't even know where they came from. This one in particular, it was on my wish list. I don't know how it got there. Was it recommended to me? Maybe. Did I just see it on the Steam list and think, yeah, let's give that a go? I don't know. I generally use my Steam wish list as just a backlog of things that I might want to pick up. I shove things in there, and whenever a sale comes around, I scour through the wish list, look at anything that's either on a hefty discount, or something that I, for some reason, suddenly want to delve into. And if it checks either of those, I might pick it up, and then it can linger on my Steam list for an eternity. It's a very long list of games. So this game, I don't know how it got on the list, but I figured, yeah, it looks kinda cute. It was fairly inexpensive, if I recall, so that's good enough for me. Let's get it underway. I think it's a dating sim. Which is not a genre that we stream often around here. Get ready for cringe, says Octanian. We've had a decade of cringe on this channel. Right, so we're a game developer. There's a game jam going on. That is some agonizingly slow text. Can we speed that up? No, okay. Guess we're gonna be mashing. Sometimes, if you're lucky, there might be girl girls in your Game Jam team. Is, is that why we came here? Most of the teams spend the first night coming up with ideas for the game, everything's going well, we have an idea, we're taking a short break. Then I notice her. The only person with features around here. Uh, her team's in the middle of intense discussion, let's take a break. She's... oh, this is our chance, okay. I'm not sure we're very interested in making games around here. <laughs> Put on our best smile. Walk up as naturally as we can be. Uh, okay. We can either start gloating about our brilliant game idea or just get right to the chase. Let's get right to the chase. No sense beating around the bush here. She is awkward. She politely introduces. I am triple zero. Okay. I was under the mistaken impression we get a choice of gender here. I guess we're playing as a male? It's not explicit, but that's what I'm getting. Right. After the game jam ended, I stalked her thoroughly enough to get onto WeChat, whatever that is. It was awkward, we became pen pals, sharing secrets and feelings. <laughs> we didn't get an award at the game jam. Okay, so we're already telling our friends about this cute girl that we met. I'm not sure we're finding her for all the right reasons here. Two weeks later, texting regularly, now we're waiting for a good opportunity to ask her out to a movie. And maybe dinner. Poor first date choices, I would say. Alright, so... She's already dumping her problems on us, so... Getting the worst parts of a relationship already. My boss got mad at me. How can I not be upset? Well, clearly you did everything right and he did everything wrong. So we should just tell her that the boss is evil and she's great. Yeah, I, or I already wish I was playing Mayatori instead. Yeah, the, tri the Trivia Witch game, that was great. I wish they'd kind of added more to that. If they just had the same game, made new scenarios, new questions, and new question categories that weren't just anime, I'd still be coming, at, uh, coming back to that game. But those developers, they like to make something and then move on to something else. They've got a fairly wide variety of games they put out. I've played most of them, if not all of them by now. Their worst one was golfing over it. None of my colleagues are willing to def- oh my god. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm sure they would have helped you if they'd known everything because you're brilliant and everyone else that works there is scum. I'm still upset! <laughs> okay, well, hanging out with me will make everything seem a lot better in context, so let's get together. Oh, 
Oh man, this is triggering some very old memories. Right. Let's go and watch a movie. Uh, right. A rom-com? A horror? Sci-fi? Rom-com's going on a bit strong, and horror is strong in its own way, so let's watch whatever the latest Marvel slop is. Well, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, they, I should have prepared myself better for cringe today. I drank something. Okay, fancy restaurant for the date. Never be too prepared. Yes, you can. Mini game time. Click the good restaurants and add them. Avoid the bad ones. Okay. What's good and what's bad? That looks good. Well, straight away, not at all what I expected in this game. But hey, I didn't come here to get something that I knew we'd be getting already. If I wanted that, I'd be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now, but I'm still waiting on that downloading. lame beyond words. Are you gonna stream Dragon's Dogma 2? I considered it, but I probably won't. If you'll recall, I streamed Dragon's Dogma 1 and had a pretty bad time with it. And I actually think that I could have had a re ooh, wow. This is going to confound me. I think if I hadn't streamed the game, I would have had a good time with it. Okay, you and you. Easy money. So I'm going to give Dragon Dogma 2 a go off stream. Although I'm hearing lots of bad things about it. I think I can find more. No, let's never do that again. That was out of place. Not the first game with out-of-place things we've seen before, though. Dragon's Dogma 2 will bring too many viewers. It will certainly bring in new viewers, which isn't always what you want. It's like incorporating people into a nation around here. Take too many people in too quickly, it's gonna introduce a bit too much chaos. Yeah, some people want chaos, though. It's my first time sitting next to her, I can't help feeling like, what are we, 12 years old? I keep telling myself to calm down, focus on the movie, movie ends, everyone else is gone. We're clearly waiting on the post-movie funny scenes. Do they still do those? I, I don't watch movies that much anymore. That was kind of interesting. It wasn't bad. I don't, I don't think she's really into this. Um, right, some dim sum, some hot pot, some cuisine, or some sushi. Oh boy, uh... I don't know. Why am I making all the decisions here? I'm meant to be out on a date here. I'm not walking the dog. Maybe I am. Yeah, all the choices seem fairly oriental. Then again, I think this is a Chinese game, right? Like Dungeon Munchies. And maybe like some other games I have on the list. Could be a running theme here. Let's get some dim sum. I'm not picky. Okay, so maybe my choice didn't matter. Oh well, there we go, she's wearing a winning smile. That doesn't even look like a let-me-down-gently smile. I can hear my heartbeat as I look at her, we're closer, no need to speak. Uh, who asks for permission to hold a hand? Anyway, let's, let's talk about how beautiful that moon is. discussing things we have in common. We're eager to understand each other more deeply. We want to zoom in and look closely at each other's hearts. <laughs> I have to go! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why would I buy a games console that has no games?
Oh, okay, she clearly did not like the din sum or the comment about the moon. clever girl like her should be able to handle the kinds of problems herself, but she's always upset. <laughs> if your boss keeps getting mad at you, it might be a you issue. Uh, wait, this is the same thing again. Okay, well now it's time to tell her to actually man up and handle her problems. Getting this exact same exchange again. Also, why is she sitting on the floor? <laughs> we get the seat. Oh, oh, God. You are what you live in, and this lady is trash. Once you get closer, you notice flaws, troubles always arise. Either I bow to her or she bows to me. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh god, I guess I need to do it all myself. No, 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 no. She can rub her nose in her own mess until she learns to pick it up. It's like when you have a domesticated animal and it starts fouling all over the floor, right? You rub its face in it, and you will keep rubbing its face into it until it realizes that if it, uh, if it doesn't do that, suddenly it doesn't have its face rubbed in its mess anymore. God, it's been ye three years? Honestly, I felt awkward. Perhaps we should be more natural, chat more. Years. Alright, there we go. I think I, I think we dropped out there for a moment. But that was horrible. Like, that was such a waste of time. We made about three choices. One of them was the same choice as before. What was the point in any of that? Maybe it's one of those games where you play it a second time and suddenly things open up a bit more? Let's find out. Okay, can we skip through this? Tab, Control, Shift, Alt, Z, hold space, hold enter. Oh, God. Okay, right, well, let's just take the opposite decisions as last time. Would you like to hear our game? Not bad, she sounds tired, okay. And then I stalk her again. We become so-called pen pals. She must be really terrible at work. Maybe it is a communication problem. Are you seeing something else here, Victor? Alright, let's go on a slightly better date then. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, I've, I don't know what happened there. My internet was actually fine, surprisingly enough. Right. Maybe the problem was the film, right? We shouldn't have watched Copper Man. We should see Women Who Pout. A s subtle bit of messaging for you.
Are you sure you didn't accidentally put it on the wish list after someone chose it for their punishment game? Oh, okay, oh god, do we have a way to skip this uh, mini game? Okay, great, we can skip the mini game. Yeah, you might be right. Let me check my punishment game list. S but that that's that wouldn't be like me. Normally I don't buy punishment games ahead of time. What's this game called again? Love Choice. No, it is not there. There's Lobotomy Corporation and Lost Kingdoms, but not Love Choice. All right, let's skip this god awful mini game. Finally, we have a date. That's exactly the same stuff. She still thinks the movie wasn't bad. Maybe the problem was with the din sum. She didn't like that. Let's go and get some sushi instead. I had some sushi last night. All right, heartbeat, moonlight, nothing to be said, and yet our only choice is to say something. All right, let's go for the hand holding. No matter the choice, she just says the same things. We have to go. Alright, bye. Alright, maybe... This is the point, right? You're not actually meant to start... Yelling at your girl here, right? Maybe if you don't yell, these little things get smaller and we... We hug things out instead of making them get bigger. Damn, I'm good. But we still make her sit on the floor! <laughs> oh, she's still pathetic at working. Right. Yeah, I need to work on your communication skills. Why do they look like they're nine years old, says Ali. I mean, look at the trash she lives in. Lives like one, too. Right. It's just the same text and stuff as well, right? Uh, maybe I'll actually go and clean the place up. This would bother me too much. Remind me of some old trips, you go into the, the girls' tents and that, and it's just utterly foul. They live in absolute filth. Hold on, are we still getting the letter of her leaving again? Held hands, words would have ruined things, talking about our hobbies, scratching surface. And she leaves us again, after three years of wasted time. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm determined to make this toxic relationship work. Let's do it again, right? Let's make all the right decisions. Hello, can we be friends? She seems a bit less put off by that. Hold on, I think I was able to click on the thing in the background there. And she doesn't just want cold advice, she wants someone to lean on. And this seems like cold and calculated advice. Why, why does she give me the same digest of this each time? Oh, not enough, Alec. I need more social credit for this. I need some more credit for putting up with this. Oh, hey, I can ignore her completely and just... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe if we go onto Twitter... We can learn some important information about her. 
I had a meal, I hadn't cooked in ages, I forgot how to do it. So she's awful at sketching, she's awful at cooking. Mm, yes, yes. What else do we have here? People don't write letters, but I think they're romantic. Can I, can I like these? Oh, I can, but let's not. She has a weird day. Hot pot. Hot pot. Okay, she, she likes hot pot and she likes kitty movies. We've learnt so much. Yeah, the moral of the story, digitally stalk your dates. Oh, but now that we've learnt about her, we can say that we're going to go and watch that cat film. That seems kind of creepy. Alright, so let's not do this crummy minigame. And we know she likes hot pot, so we're getting that hot pot. Sitting next to her, stay calm, movie was interesting. It was great! There's a nice restaurant, let's get you that hot pot you like so much. How did you know I like hot pot? Should we answer that? I sufficiently stalked you. Yeah, blah blah blah. I don't think there's anything to be said. Alright, so let's say nothing. Oh, oh, oh! Words will ruin the mood. Just go in for it. Play some video games. Play some music. Play with a cat. What's the implication here? That we moved in together? For three years? And then she just leaves us a letter and off she trots? Maybe I shouldn't just go. Maybe I can talk about the things that I have here. Let's talk about guitar. I've got guitar. I got a cat thing. I'm a much better drawer than you. And cats are pretty great. Okay, well, what else can we blab on about? This really doesn't feel much like dating. It feels more like babysitting or maybe cat or dog sitting. Is there anything else I can say before I gotta go? Gotta be something else to talk about. No, nope, we've ran out of verbal digest. Let's go now. One can only hope, Fawad, okay? Let's not yell at her this time, though. After three years, she leaves us because we initiated hand-holding wrongly on the first date. She needs help. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. We held the hands. We had the big smooch. Or is now the time that she breaks up with us because we talk too much about cats and video games. Okay. She's always upset about her bloody problems. Can I say something other than these? Can I, like, go and give her a hug instead? There we go. I'm glad that my giant brain is able to help her. Can I go back to my games now? all these achievements, though, for being uh, so great. 
This is an absolute fill. Anyone live with uh, somebody like this? Did once live with somebody that would leave so much trash all over the place, but you know, we were young. Alright, maybe what I do is instead of moaning about anything. Oh, maybe this is her cleaning up. I'll take care of you. Better, you made this freaking mess. This is this is not healthy for anyone. We met at Game Jam. You talked to me. I felt awkward chatting, remembering the first date, movies, hot pot. Are we still not opened up that we stalked her to get that information? I feel like a lot of the problems here could be taken care of by a bit of communication. We were dead right about that. Hobbies, scratching surface, fighting, forgiving, listening. We're not perfect, but we know how to balance. Is she still leaving? Shocking. Well, that was just terrible. And that was only one of the game modes. Let's check out Love Distance. We've actually got a name this time, though. We lived in a small town. The only electrical repair... Well, it can't be that small if it's got an electrical repair shop. Children, big TV, watch cartoons on dads, a new girl arrived. She was from the city. Am I about to drag myself over to her again? She listens to music, classical music. Like some people just want to be left alone with their music. <laughs> what a weirdo. I might just rather watch my cartoons. Talk over her music? This is China. Small town is less than one million people. Uh, my home... Well, I think the last census put it at 400 people. Pretty sure it shrank since then. It's lost the only two shops there were there. And the post office is gone. I wonder if the pub is still there. I think the only thing that survives is the, uh, the takeaway. Alright, we became good friends, same primary school, we walked to school every day, sausage shop. Okay, I was hoping for a bit more adult romance, not kiddy stuff. I mean adult as in grown up, not H. You walk past the store every day, not interested in roast sausages. Okay. This is some pivotal moment in our relationship. Oh god, I thought we were the girl there. This is a trap. Am I meant to go and look at one of these other things? No, I'm not buying that for her. And use her own allowance. No. I think I meant to somehow prevent myself from buying sausage on stick and instead save up my money to buy her this tiny little piano thing. Maybe I should just keep haggling about it. Or maybe if I smash this piggy thing enough I'll get my dosh out and buy it for her. Okay, there we go. We forwent the sausage. Mm, 
buy something or leave. So if we, uh, if we don't eat, we'll be able to buy material goods for our very materialistic love interest. The, the game is trying to take control of the mouse cursor and force me to go over and buy the sausage. Oh. God. How much do we need to save up to buy this thing? Resist the sausage, lad. <laughs> Story is old as time. Alright, can I finally buy the freaking thing for you? Here we go. Two Chinese coins for your tiny little made in China piano thing. This is for you. So in the end, our gift was for naught. She ends up getting the real thing. Oh, she lives nearby? Or is this a school? <laughs> no, they're just super expensive sausages. I'm trying to remember how much that would cost in Japan, which is my closest... Uh, Closest bit of comparison. Getting painful. Oh, my. All right, let's put the tools of the trade to good work. Can we use our tools and sort this out? How useful is a metronome, really? Oh God, am I meant to know how to fix this thing? Because I don't. Yeah, I wanted my passion, but all our money went on a piano for her. Oh no. <laughs> no sausage for us for a while then. We're gonna have to pay for her music school, I think. Let's just take that screwdriver, ignore what she has to say. I've got a job to do. Didn't agree to being taught piano. Oh, 
Oh god, here we go. Right. You play this one key, I'll do the rest. Press the last mouse button at the right time. When's the right time? Uh-huh. When do you want me to do this? She is good at this. <laughs> oh. Getting horrible flashbacks to Nancy Drew. Childish beliefs were children. Actually, how old is junior high school? That's a different setup from how we have it back home. Alright, come on, let's give her a call. Eleven to fourteen is junior high, not sure about China. Can't even remember how it was done back home. Primary school for seven years, secondary school for anything from four to six years, depending on how, uh, how clueless you are. Very few people left after four years, though. Generally only people that, uh, either had a trade or a farm. Oh, that's cool. Phones are getting more advanced. Our interests are getting more advanced. Although she's still rocking cassette tapes in 2004. Or are those mini cassettes? Those just did not take off. future pianist have to learn physics. I don't know, I don't know anything about music as a career. We got any career musicians around here? That might be a tall order. Guess where we're continuing this charade on for quite some time. But we've got PSP! Oh, now there was a mobile console. Yeah, PC and the PSP. Clearly Daddy's factory is doing alright. We've only even got our own little model Gundam thing. memories of staying up late into the night trying to figure out how to solder my PSP into running custom firmware at the start well eventually you could just run a program on it it would work but I had to hard mod my one I wonder if I still have it I think it's tucked away somewhere but the battery is long dead Maybe there are things that I should do, but... 
Uh, I haven't been in a very good state recently. Don't feel like I'm making any progress on it. Practicing. Yeah, sometimes it feels like that playing DDR. That's why it's important to play things for enjoyment. Surprise, of course, the whole part here is called Love Distance. Are we just friends? Uh, probably not. Am I meant to click on these? seen each other in five years. You are just friends. Oh man, long car rides. It has been some time. Hey, Cab Europe just says, what the hell is this? I think it's a dating sim. Uh, it seems more like a choices don't matter. By senior year, you thought you'd probably leave her a lot. What? Why don't we just go to the amusement park? Although well, that can't be fun, having a ferris wheel right around the apartment buildings. A few days, city is huge, big drive. Two hours from your new house to where Grace was. Two hours to cross a city? I guess they do things differently in China. Awkward and embarrassing. Can we... Can we have one last ride in the ferris wheel together? I like ferris wheels. I see it as a bit of morbid tourism to ride them. Putting in a lot of work for nothing here. We're going abroad, explains the English learning. Morbid how, I take it you haven't seen the photos of uh, the ferris wheels I was riding. and still playing our PSP? Or is that a Vita? No, the Vita's got a different look to it. Anyway, the PSP's better than the Vita. Freaking Vita. The Vita and the PS3 really telling us that Sony believe in no games. This distance one is even more painful than the last one. That's saying something. I wouldn't call it fun. Oh god, this seems to be all about these people doing things they don't enjoy. And again, at least this is somewhat going somewhere. We failed the first dating run two or three times. This could be the one shot. I just, just want to play my PSP, even though it's 2010. I think I was still playing my PSP in 2010.
In which game do you have less control? This or yesterday's punishment game? Well, yesterday's punishment game would actively take the controls and input away from you. Then again, it happened here as well when I wanted my sausage on a stick. Cheer up, engineer. You can do it, man. We are. Why are we smitten with this girl again? Enough to dump a decade. Oh, hang on. You've got the little toy piano thing. Now I'm confused. Did she give it back? Did we buy it for ourselves? Things just not making sense to me. I'm suffering more now than in yesterday's punishment game. Ah, but you see, Finellis, yesterday was a punishment game. Starts with F U. Typhoons don't go out. Blah 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 blah. I'd like to go in a typhoon. Never really lived in a place that does typhoons. Northern Europe's known for miserable weather, not extreme weather. Okay. Guess I'm gonna see this whole thing through. Don't worry, not all the games I have in today's Lucky Dip are dating games. Alright. There's been an issue, we haven't mentioned it. Time for the call. She's gonna be staying abroad. Wait, she says abroad, but she's still got tiny thing on the ground, kneeling on the ground. Where exactly are you? I will let you go. Well, maybe that should be for the better. Are we not rich and successful enough to get ourselves over there? Or are we going to talk her out of her dreams? Ah, ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Do we have to pick a side here? Look at that wee chair with a heart back. That doesn't, that doesn't look very good. Maybe there's something I can talk about here. Maybe this little piano is the key to it all. I've still got the piano toy I gave you when we were kids. See that? Why do I have it? Is she going to talk about the sausages she denied me? I feel like I'm just trying to guilt trip her into coming back to China. What about the slippers? There's gotta be something else we can say. Or do. You think it's a Morrigan game? I... Well, I can't speak for what she'd enjoy. Okay, I'm not sure if there's anything else to guilt trip for about anymore. My piggy bank. Ah, oh, the radio. Love Q, of course. Fans forever. <laughs> there we go. Bring her to the state of tears. I want to stay here. Keep working towards my dream. La da 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 da. Okay, well, we seem a bit ambitionless. Why don't we go over there? Is this propaganda for the CCP population control politics? Uh, okay, there we go. We did guilt trip her enough to have her come back. You haven't forgotten your dream of making your own job? Well, I had a dream. She became a piano teacher at a music school. Everything's going well. We've killed her passion. There we go.
All right. Good end. I think. Well, it was an end. Give up dreams, make babies for the party. GG. Right. One last one. Let's be the love detective. See, it was Nancy Drew all along. What am I looking at? Is it a match three game? Hey, there we go. Probably missing some text here, but sure that's not as important as matching all the threes. anymore. It's really none of my business what uh, his phone is up to. Can I just ignore it? Maybe. I'm gonna try ignoring it. Well, whoever it's calling is very persistent, seems I have little choice. Could we not read his messages? Mm, nope, that's it. thing is to ask. It's my client. Okay. I don't feel like there's a lot of trust in this relationship. Then again, trust but verify. Wife syndrome here. I didn't want to get a cat because I knew it would ruin the sofa, but I was wrong. Who cares about a sofa when you have a cat? Ah, she told herself. Now the whole apartment's stinking a cat poop. this 584 possibly mean? Alright, love detective. Let's get to work. There must be a safe or something that we can open with 584. Boxes, buying things, a key. Light strips, junk, he's hiding something. Uh-huh, what could it all mean? Oh my! Well, we know that this is probably five, eight, four. Wait, does that reset? No, it doesn't. Good. Just to check. Yes, five, eight, four. All right. What could that key be useful for? Something on the back of a picture frame, perhaps? Photos of our honeymoon. It's been three years. She sighs. Okay. What other secrets are hiding around here? Can I turn around, maybe? Go into another room? Mm. And I need to go to the bathroom, but there could be clues in the bathroom. Stop leaving dirty clothes just lying around. I've told you a million times. We're stacked on the chair. Oh, strange box. Perhaps a strange key could open a strange box. 
and it says 201 for the triangle. There's nothing in the box. Okay, but it gave me some vital information, which I've already gotten. 201, I think. Designer skirt in the bag. Okay. I wonder if I'm on a timer before hubby comes home from work. 201, right? I may have forgotten that, I'll have to double check. Because my short term memory is shot. Also, where was the box? can't remember where I found the box. What about out in the patio? Yeah, this is what happens when Ned marries Nancy. Nothing good. Can't keep any secrets. So should put it in. They smell terrible. <laughs> oh. Three, one, four. What could it all mean? Hi Jake, this game looks simple, but cool and non-stressful. I wouldn't say cool. And uh, maybe I'm stressing a bit over how frustrating a game it is. All right, so it was 201 for triangle. Oh, oh, what a misclick. And then the square is 314. And what's inside the Turkish Delights box? I'm starting to think that maybe we are Ned Nickerson here, trying to figure out old Nancy's puzzles. Happy anniversary. Please put the present here. So he's been hiding an anniversary gift for us. And we went and ruined the surprise because we're a paranoid housewife who clearly needs something better to do with her time. It's not Frostpunk. <laughs> no. <laughs> Far from it. Don't worry, Frostpunk too soon-ish. It's June, right? Where are we right now? January, February, March. Three months. It's too dark in here. Okay. Connect the two hearts with magic pen. designer skirt. The most beautiful dress of the most beautiful wife. Okay, we're gonna take it. Maybe it's an indicator of where he's left presents for me. Some lipstick. I asked a friend to buy this for you. Is it the right color? Oh, but he said it was a client. Is there something in here as well? crumbs, but I need the key. Perhaps I should be following this properly. Where was the starting location? Da 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 da. <gasps> oh. oh, now that's pretty cute. Dear wife, to avoid starvation, please enjoy your favorite chin to avoid starvation. <laughs> Is that some kind of Chinese meme? Oh, 
one can only assume. All right, maybe following this in the correct direction. Can I put on the dress this time? No, we just get to look at it. Hobby has to return it after a while. There's our ma uh, magic pen. And there was lipstick, can we double back? I hope it's divorce papers inside the box. Connect the hearts to the magic pen. Oh, oh okay, here we go. That is impressive. Imagine someone loving you so much that they'd go to all this effort. Kind of incredible. There's the 314 card. A tiny Christmas tree. Necklace for us. Perfect hands of love choice when? It's gonna need some perfect hands of level economy for all these gifts. Alright, now can I open this thing up? I've forgotten the numbers. I think it was 584. 201, and I definitely can't remember this. 314. Surprisingly good memory. Oh, Is this meant to be the same cup? No, surely not. We went skiing. Hmm? I never felt the cold. Graduation. Saving money by assembling furniture. Is that not a normal thing to do? Oh god, maybe I, I did spend too long in Sweden. First time fishing. Hiking photos. I got a fright when I saw a bill. <laughs> Went out drinking with a uh, tight fisted friend of mine and we got some expensive whiskey. And he said he woke up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night, remembering how much we'd spent. Okay. Beautiful. Can we... click this and open some more? It's a fancy wee box. Beautiful starry things. He loves video games. We play them together sometimes. Learn your freaking parries. Belly was... that does not look like a small cat. Sherlock Holmes cat. Korean style wedding fo... I don't know what makes a wedding Korean style. Hmm? I was so nervous. <laughs> okay. Please put the present here. Wait, where's the present? I guess the necklace? Okay, everything else is pretty cool, but that's pretty lame. Yeah, probably. Spends all their time at home and, uh... Hubby's coming back and putting in all this effort. Where do you find the time? Frostpunk 2's July, not June. Oh well. Chalk another month onto that. Yeah, if only, if only you just left the man's phone alone. Can we, can we put it down? I want to trust him. There must be a bit, yeah. Putting it down. Answering the call. Going and playing with the cat? Ok, 
Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Did not mean to do that. There we go, album. Clearly some endings that I've missed here. Maybe the outright paranoia, or if we can't solve that incredible puzzle. And maybe the ending where we don't crush our beloved's dreams and drag her back to China. Anyway, that was awful. Really freaking bad. But it was always going to be a mixed bag today. Let's reach into the goodie bag and pull something different out. Hey, I suppose, even if it was bad, it was different. And I like playing all sorts of games. Even the bad ones. And maybe some people thought it would be really good. Oh, shut up. I'm not saying it wasn't cute. It was plenty cute. But it was pretty bad as a game. Alright, alright. What else do I have? Right. This game should be significantly less cute. There's no real order or thought process to how we're doing things here. It's just a bunch of games that I picked up and I want to play. And so I shall play. Alright, go away, love choice. You've had your chance. Too much of a chance. Can't believe I played that for over an hour. Alright, how about... This. There we go, it doesn't quite fill up. There we go. This is Rusted Moss. Another game, I don't know where it came from, but it was on my wish list. And it was on probably a half decent sale, otherwise I wouldn't have picked it up. Mm, mouse and keyboard controller. Probably mouse and keyboard if it's got a moving reticule like that. And I better update it on Twitch. I've never been, never had people come for me based on not having the right games up on category, but they do say you should do that. Can't believe I watched you play it for an hour, says Victor. Yeah, beggar's belief. All right, let's just go for it. This game boasted having a grappling hook, but I think it's a Metroidvania, but you know, I, I don't mind a good Metroidvania. Normal, flexible, speed run, back. Intended difficulty. Sounds good to me. Okay. None of the games that I'm doing today I have played, so really don't know what I'm getting myself in for. Okay, was move, space, jump, left mouse, shoot, jump and hold to ledge grab. Sure. Feels like Momodora already. I like the look of our protagonist already. What is, what was that E? Ah, right, this thing following around, uh, following us seems to give us maybe health. God knows. Alright, we can ledge grab, we can also get roasted. And these will be some kind of power up things we're picking up? Sure, let's go. Oh yeah, if anything's off with the audio, if it's too loud or quiet or whatnot, let me know. I have not tested all of these first stream, but hey-ho. Right, destroy machines, absorb mana, press E, use your stored mana to heal. But I'm already maxed out. S to save, sure. Is that T for trinkets? No, F for trinkets. Okay. How much do you pay for these games? A bucket full for five years? Well, it probably would have been about that, except I'd also picked up Dragon's Dogma. And I'm telling you, that was not five dollars. Alright, tab for map. Hey, now we know we're playing a Metroidvania. Did I say Titania? Hmm. Hopefully there's no fall damage. Look to be secrety things to go up and around for. <laughs> 
NP. Okay. Ah, right, there we go. Does MP recover over time or from killing things? Heaven help me. And good, there doesn't appear to be fall damage. According to hours of Steam uh, streams I saw, there is no combat, only character creator. Oh, you're talking about Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I do not fuss over character creation stuff. I do, however, really want to make... A big, fat, ugly bastard. I saw... I saw an image of a guy made in Dragon's Dogma, and I absolutely have to... Uh, hold on, maybe, maybe I can grab it. I need to figure out how this was made, because this is the character I want to play as. Hold up, hold up. Just grabbing him. There he is. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy, right? Apparently, you can do this in Dragon's Dogma. I must figure out this character creation magic because I want to play as this guy. Yeah. I've seen screenshots of people's creations in that game. They're making like the ultimate beautiful waifu or the. Incredible twink that they want to play as. No, I want to play as that guy. That guy looks like he knows how to party. Come on, where's the grappling hook? The whole reason I picked up this game was because it showed off having a cool grappling hook. Don't deny me. You can equip trinkets. That's our overload one. Definitely getting the feeling of there being all sorts of secrets up there that I can't reach until I get some kind of double jump or hyper jump or movement tech in general. Which, I'll concede, does not appeal because the general... Um, the general Metroidvania formula does not appeal to me. But I do... well, I think I've played every Momodora that there's been so far. But Momodora's a very linear Metroidvania. Doesn't really open up and expand the, the way that most do. Which is good for me. Nothing going for it so far. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? Camping, peaceful, scientists, stand by the lab, fighting, explosions. What is it with games loving to drop you in with no context these days? Extra damage and range at full HP, just like in Zelda. And that is... Some decent range, I think. <laughs> you may end up creating a better romance than love choice, what you mean with the character in Dragon's Dogma? I can get behind that. Oh, is there any sign of mods working with that game? I know Capcom are in a bit of a vendetta against mods these days, so I wouldn't be surprised if Dragon's Dogma is not a mod-friendly game. Maybe a mod for the sliders, so I can make an even fatter guy. I played around with the character creator the other day, I just could not make the uh, pot-bellied swine like Wario that I wanted to. I feel like this is a growing trend in games, maybe in media in general, just dropping us partway into a story with no real context of what's going on here. Who are these friends? What is lab? Who are you? I don't know. 
And since I don't know, I can't care. fire a lot faster just by rapidly tapping rather than holding down. You freed me from the machine, how about a good old-fashioned blessing? I hope it's that... Oh, swing! Come on! There we go. We go. Ah, okay. I think it only works on the grassy stuff. Okay, we are Worms Armageddon now. The rope is elastic. Don't have to just stand on the ground for three hoot, run, jump, build momentum. Woo! Uh, huh. okay, maybe not. There we go. I was trying to press jump instead of right click to release the rope. The rope is like a bungee cord. Da 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 da. Control is the key. Alright, sure. Whee! Whee! Oh dear. Wait, can I not launch a second one after dropping out of it? No, no I can't, okay. I need to stop bashing my head on that thing. Elastic fall, little fling up. I get it. Guess I should be thankful that falling in pits seems like it doesn't have much in the way of consequence for our poor scientist here. You can throw your hook again when your feet have touched the ground. Yeah, that was what I was looking for. So you want me to hit that, huh? Maybe not from that angle. This brings back all sorts of fun memories with worms. It was a worms game that I played, and I think they really ruined the uh, the rope mechanic in it. Although I fail to remember which one that was. I didn't play that many worms games.
Playing Smash Brothers break the platform, uh, break the targets right now. Can we? Can we? No. <laughs> it's not quite as insane as you get in worms then. How far does it go though? Those worm streams are very good, but I don't dare look how long ago they were. I think I only streamed worms once, although Spam then streamed it and really showed us how that game was done. Impressively so. Oh, we've already done all the targets. Yes, yeah, can be dangerous to check just how long ago some streams were. This year, this channel's now 10 years old. Frightening. Time manipulation. Tell me more. Oh, it uses more power than we have, so I need to turn that off and you on. Some very expensive stuff. Blessing with Transparent Fey, I remember some of the future. Slows down enemy bullets. I don't like the sound of that. I'd rather have more power, but let's see how it works out for us. Oh, hey, we're back here. Channel's now older than some of you. I don't really think we get kids around here, or at least I prefer not to think that we do. Some people were just kids when we first joined this place. Nitro was just a boy when he joined. Now he's some kind of man child. With an ever-growing collection of retro consoles. Alright, movement in this game feels pretty good. Which is really all I was looking for. Can I get up there? I think if I swing around to you. Yep. Dangerous climb. Attempt at your own risk. I played Celeste. I can do dangerous climbs. Although, how much can we bounce around like this? I'd like to grab that if I could, please. This feels like a bit of a getting over it situation. How long until I fall down and lose it all? Just like that. Alright, well, I tried. I'm just gonna move on. Yeah, 
Infecting, labs, catch, save, test, subject. Special blood, power sources, refined, toxic. So can I jump through? Oh, okay, right, don't touch it for long. But you can touch it a little bit. Kind of looks like the Celeste dream block goo stuff. Easy now. Okay, I simply must say my curiosity. If I come out of the game and I turn on gloriousautoclicker.exe Okay, it looks like the game has a limit to just how fast you can spam your bullets. Probably to stop it being more powerful than that. Very often good old fastclicker.exe helps me out in games. I generally am not happy seeing games where you gotta mash X to not die. Crippling arthritis will come for us all in time. Hmm. I'd like up there, but I'm not sure if I can get the swing going for it. human? I figured the black stuff would just outright kill us, but no, it's just a a little bit of hurt. I can handle a little bit of hurt. I can handle a lot of bit of hurt. Talk to you some more? They steal our children. We stole the world. Yeah, okay. I feel like there's a massive piece of the world that I'm just not privy to here. Anyway, I've already seen enough. Yeah, save and quit out there already. I think this is a game I'm actually going to play a bit more of in my own time. I do like how it plays out, but or how it, uh, how it feels. But losing the context to all of my actions hurts for motivation quite a lot. And it feels like it's done more and more for storytelling these days, just dropping you into a world with no clue what's going on. Maybe that's meant to be part of the immersion. Personally, I don't like it. it gives me Titan Soul vibes for some reason. I guess visually. Gameplay-wise, mm, no. Right, that was just one of the games though, in this lucky dip. What do I have next? What I have next is a water break. I'll be back in just a couple minutes.
I feel next to that it's certainly not the first time we've had a clip titled Jake Gets It. Right, what else do we have? So that was Love Choice and Rusted Moss. There was another game that appeared on my list. Is it going to launch just fine? Well, I'll be it does. Alright, come away from you. <laughs> So a certain German was less than subtly hinting that this game Karma Zoo is worth checking out. So let's be welcomed to the zoo. How does it know I'm DDR Jake? Jake, you're one of the best Frostpunk players in the world. I mean, one off. You are trapped here without a body, but you can still escape. You concentrate, and suddenly you take shape or kind of. For now, you are just a blob, but even a blob can jump and sing. See for yourself. Okay, I, I have no idea what we're getting into here, but that's just par for the course for all the games that we're playing around with today. I discovered your channel because of your challenges. I know it was years ago, but they're still great. I've watched 18 plus of them. They're still grinding. It's your calming voice. Makes you better than the rest. Give you a six-month sub. Pay for the great entertainment. Well, thanks a lot, Pakalan. I do appreciate. I am done with Frostpunk. However, we're just four months away from Frostpunk 2. Hang on, isn't this a con- I like it. Okay, there we go. We get double jump. Huzzah. We can jump off sticky walls the just like in Donkey Kong. Halo. As long as you have it, bodies are unlimited. And if you jump on a spike, your body will just come back. Now let's test and that. You can walk on dropped tombstones and even stick to them. Now pave your way up to the top. So this game has some interesting integration with my DualShock controller in that it keeps flashing at me every time I do something. And that's extremely annoying. So, 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 so... Let's see if we can't do something about that. Where's the controller settings? Oh, God. Doing this mess of stuff up every time. Okay, I'm just kind of gritting there at then. Oh, but maybe there's an option. Or maybe there's not. Okay. Each so... Has a voice. Oh, okay. Each one can change the world. Try to sing to open that door. But how do I sing? Amazing. Yeah, I do not know why in the Jewel Shock they added this mandatory light. This world but it's horrible every time it's used. But 
other bodies have powerful abilities. And the right team can deal with anything standing in its way. I'm gonna have now to reread what Nick said about this game. That locked door on your own for the very last time. Guess I need that key. I'm being told the game is cropped a bit, is that so? Hang on, we might just have the power to change that. Whoa. There we go. Easy as pie. Exit through the portal when you are ready. On the other side, you might meet new prisoners of the zoo. Just like you. Well, this feels very bizarre so far, but it's clearly some kind of puzzle platformer, and that's right up my alley. So let's do it. You'll have to cooperate with others to keep your body in the zoo. Your halo will protect and bring your body back over and over, but it will shrink when you're alone. A few seconds, and it pops. And if it does, you won't get another one until the next portal. Now work with others and earn your first karma hearts. Off you go. Karma hearts. Oh, maybe I really do need to follow you. Okay, right, I, I get it, I get it. We die on our own. Help others earn karma hearts. Hold doors, useful tombstones. Okay, I got it. Open the way forward. Uh, okay. I'm under the impression that's a real other character there. Certainly moving like they are. God, I'm playing with a games journalist. Remind me, was this a weekly one-shot candidate? Or just a recommendation? No, it wasn't. Okay, good. I was worried I might be denying myself a decent weekly one-shot <clears throat> by just playing this for giggles today. This is your sanctuary. Home to your bodies, abilities, and progression. Some say that if you possess every statue in here, you will be free, but no one has succeeded yet. There are certainly many secrets to be found. We keep looping to find them all. Now 
Now let's put your heart to good use. Reach oh, the yeah. Karma Kiss statue and possess it. Yes, that's right. I was earning all those Karma Hearts for helping people out, right? Well done. You have earned your first Karma ability. This is the beginning of your collection. Share I the must love. Leave you now and welcome others. And I wish you a pleasant journey in the Karma Zoo. So it seems that I have the ability to give love. Already feels like it's got more authentic love than we saw in Love Choice. Loop. Okay, there has got to be an option that turns off this flashing controller thing. It is doing my tatty in. Enter host, join with code. How about options? I doubt it would be accessibility, although maybe it is color management. Mm. Oh god, turn that off. I don't know what parallax means. Mmm. More? Discord? No streaming. Hide private code. That eh, doesn't bother me. I'm hoping for controller setting turn off god awful flashing of PlayStation controller. Vibration, interface. Parallax background means that the background mo uh, scrolls as you move. Okay, no problem with that. Okay, I might be out of luck with the controller thing. Bah humbug. Right, how do we actually play then? Look. Totem. Look. Totem. Look. Yeah, actually, I've used up all of my good take. And even if you do cover it up, it still flashes kind of out the front over that weird touch controller part of the PlayStation controller. Welcome, Jake. Join others. Build a team. Uh, okay, can you not show that? Every input suddenly flash bangs me from the controller. Oh god, it's Nyx. Maybe Nyx was the... <laughs> Maybe Nyx was the IGN reviewer player that we had in the tutorial built. Let's give Nyx some love. He's in Germany now, probably doesn't get much of it. So what's with the... what's with the nobody playing this game? Is this, uh... is this open to everybody? Oh, oh, no, there we go, we got a smiley face joining in. Obviously.
All right, so I mean, I've played a game like this before. It's just like Gyromite, except Gyromite was a single player game. Where you helped yourself. And the good Lord helps those who help themselves. What is the purpose of this thing? I think Nyx was right. Maybe this is the kind of game you had to play when it first came out and everybody was new to it. Or, you know, when there was actual players. Apparently watching some painkillers is wild, says Hazmatat. What kind of painkillers are you on that distorts your reality? Good ones. I think even today the game is a bit more alive on non work hours. Not my problem. I quite like cooperative games, but I don't know, I feel like it would be better if I was griefing my teammates. Maybe I'd rather I was playing Fall Guys. Do people still play Fall Guys? Streaming Fall Guys is a ton of fun. It was something I actually wanted to do more of, actually. I think this super jump that we got is going to nullify anything we have to do here. <laughs> okay, I can see the little puzzles and how much we don't have to do them. Cool concept of a game, at least. God's name are you doing there? Karmazoo is a joyful, altruistic, cooperative platformer, quoth Ninjin. Altruistic. Surely, we all got to help each other out for our own goods.
I can get behind the concept, but the execution doesn't seem very exciting in this. Maybe the levels are more interesting with lots of players in them. Why does everyone assume that about just about every long play? No, Munches isn't binned. It'll be continuing on tomorrow. These secrets are meant to be visible. Oh no! I feel so alone! Hey! Trying in a corner. I have watched a few streams now of X4 trying to see the appeal, and it's just not happening. It's a short span, tension nature of the internet, says Wick. Everything that is not happening right now does not exist. Well, this game will soon do be not existing then. There's sort of some interesting concepts in this game, but it it's not very enjoyable, is it? Is it? It looks pretty bland. Yeah, bland is the word for this game, I think. There's not much going on. I'd rather be playing Resident Evil Outbreak over this. But then I'd rather be playing Resident Evil Outbreak over most games. Trouble with Resi Outbreak is nobody plays it. as though there's some kind of secret to be had over there. I'm at a loss for how you're meant to know about these secrets, so maybe there's something that reveals them. <laughs> I'd rather be playing a game I like over this. <laughs> Who would have thought? Then again, I fear that the performance of Resident Evil Resistance killed any hopes of seeing more of the Outbreak style games. What a tragedy.
Did you use Outbreak Server Resurrection when you played? Yes. I also played the official servers when those were live, but those died in what, 2007, I think. Eat the karma. Way to go. More karma for me. <laughs> How many helpful tombstones? Not one. Well, that is probably the oh. See these hearts you have collected. Give them to me. And I'll let you possess a statue. Each of them holds a different body for you to shapeshift in. Pick one you'd like to unlock and possess it. Well, I don't think they do anything, do they? Oh? Maybe they do. What do you say? I make my surroundings sticky. Ah, so maybe different, different characters do have stuff. I smash the ground, destroy glass walls. Ah, so different characters can have different uses, just like in Outbreak. Anyway, that is the precisely one run of this that I think I'll ever do. Interesting premise, and I like the presentation of the game, but it's not very exciting at all. Just feels like you're mindlessly wandering from A to B without any real obstacles in the way. So, terribly unexciting. Away you go. Jane is... It's staggering to think that Love Choice is a game that we've played longest so far. <laughs> I do make my surroundings sticky. I don't know why Nyx was so enamored with this game. Maybe it's better when it's busier and more chaotic with lots of people. I think I'll try this game maybe on a weekend when more people are bound to be free. A weekend, he says. What day is today? Today is Friday. Okay, so maybe I'll give this game a go tomorrow or so. Off stream though, right? This, this game gives us one chance on stream and then away it goes. Otherwise, let's play something else that looks very strange. And also, I want the controller relinquished from Karma Zoo. Love often makes you wonder why you stuck around for so long, says Barrow. Well, I simply had to figure out what my hubby was up to. Why would he have bought this cheesecake for me and hidden all these numbers around and not done the laundry? Right, this is another case of a game that I have no idea how it ended up on my wish list, but I saw it there and I saw it on sale and I thought, well, clearly I put it here for a good reason. No such thing as accidentally clicking on add to wishlist, right? So the Norp... A a apologue? Okay, well, I've no idea what we're getting in for. Don't even know if this is a controller or not game. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be this blind. What, what is this game? Steam, talk to me. No, don't show the friends list. Nobody needs to see that. Or the game overviews. Show me the... I don't think it shows store page here by default, does it? But I think if you go to achievements... Okay, maybe not achievements. Guides, then. One of these has got to open up the store page. What am I even playing here? Store page, eh? Hey. Oh god, I'm broke! Spent all my money on bad games! I spend way too much money on games. Bad habit. It's a clicker game? It's unlike me to pay actual money for a clicker game. Why in God's name was this? Oh, well, whatever. We're here now. Let's start. Welcome to the Norp. Ah, but welcome to the tiny UI. Let's scale that up a bit. Hold, right click, or spacebar and drag. Left and right. Okay, easy peasy. Zoom in and out. Yep. 
The Norp you're following is standing next to the Talent Stone, one of the structures in the game. You can hover over it for talents. Yes, there are a lot of them. Okay, but he seems to be running away from it. Past Jake robbed future Jake's wallet. Okay, shards have come out. They're the main resource of the game. They're used for creating things. Get more. You can also hold down and keep clicking. Okay. How many shards do you want me to get? Okay, we turn them all into the stash. All your shards go here. Hover over it, you'll discover that the UI is blocking the information. Hover over a shard on the ground to the left and then click it. Okay. Nice. Try and make it fly into the stash. Okay. You got a shard. Now we can see our three shards. Yes, once you have ten, you can build things. Alright, well, let's do it. So it looks like it's all about pinging things into other things. How little we stray from our game of love. Okay, now we've got like 45 shards, let's build something. The Express, the Slam Club, also the game's kind of loud, isn't it? Down you go a bit. Mm hmm Home of the Runners. So how do I build anything? Ah, here we go. Well, I can have both, can't I? Oh, now it's too quiet. Nice choice. Employ a runner. Okay, give me a runner. Runners collect shards, so you don't have to. You will want more of these guys. Continue clicking the rock. You'll have enough shards to buy something else. Maybe housing for more Norps. Didn't I build a slam club? Maybe I didn't. Oh, but I need more Norps to do so. Alright then, let's build some housing. So that I can have some more Norps to employ as more runners. Mm -hmm. Well, this guy's working very slowly. I can certainly work faster than him. Of course, that's often how things start in these idle games. Well, it's not idle. What's the term for it? It's not quite optimization. I swear there's another word for it. Incremental games, that's it. Hurry up, little dude. Get me my wealth. And make no mistake, it is my wealth. Once again, I failed to update my game. What's this called? Gnorp. There's one other person streaming this game. Alright, there we go. Loads and loads of shards. What do we do with them all? Runners can only pick up one. This increases that capacity. Alright, now you can pick up two. And now I can get a couple more runners. Maybe even another runner. And maybe pick up even more. And a quick hint at the increase in the values here. I need 33k of that to go above and beyond. Let's have more housing though. You will birth more Norps and the Norps will work for me. But what about this thing? It seems like I have to be the one that keeps bashing it. Also, is it just a limitless source of shards?
Yeah, there was the slammer. There we go, now we can have it. And I assume that's going to be over here so people can slam the thing for me. Let's get automating. So they're practicing how to slam in there, and then I bring them up, warm them up, meditate. Slammers now meditate before slamming. This goes further. Okay, do that. Well, they are still a lot worse than what I can do. But I'm sure that changes in due time. So when it comes to these idly games, I, uh, I actually did end up buying an early access game, and it was Clicker Heroes 2, and my goodness, I was already very anti early access games, but I fooled myself into thinking that it wouldn't be too bad, after all, I'd enjoyed playing Clicker Heroes 1, well, maybe enjoyed is putting it strongly, but I had played it, and that game was free, so surely there's no big deal in showing support by buying their game, even though it was early access. Even though it was something like 30 quid as well. Oh, that stung a bit, but I was like, oh, okay, we'll do it anyway. Big mistake. Game is now abandonware. Exactly. Fool me once. And I won't let it be shame on me. Okay, what's this 2x thing? This is the overdrive bar. Fill it by clicking the rock. When you increase thresholds, Completes over time, but some are da, 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 da. Okay, so what do we do now? The House of Shards? Build more advanced buildings. Okay, we'll do that. Hard time looked more fun. Even Patrician 4 looked more fun. <laughs> I did not at any point give any indication that we're playing fun games today, just that it was going to be some variety games. Oh, what do we get out of here? Archery. Some of them use the bow and arrow. Alright, well, let's get them to bow and arrow then. And that's already used up all of my Norpy shards. Not f Oh, no, no. Uh, Callum actually streamed God Hand, so I enjoyed watching him beat the game. He's so much better at that game than me. There's, uh, there's actually a whole bunch of games that Callum is far superior to me at. He's one of the real OGs. Okay, well, the, the archers are actually doing some half-decent work on bringing this stuff out. Can I get more runners? More runner, more capacity, more automation. This is just one of those get more, more, more of everything games. Like I say, Kalpa is a fair fan of these incrementals. I don't tend to delve much into these, so I have no idea how this ended up on my wish list. My problem with these kinds of games is that I fire them up and I get kind of into them, and then I do really optimize, and then before I know it, 20 hours have passed, and the number's getting really big, and I have that moment of looking at myself going, what have I been wasting my time with here? And then I put it down and never touch it again. Off the top of my head, there was Realm Grinder. There was a really cool one about shooting blocks, and I really quite like that. But even after, even with that game after a while, there was this thought of, what am I doing here? And just putting it down. Do you reuse your passwords, Jake? That could expire. <laughs> I doubt there's a... It's getting shared amongst these game devs. Hey, go onto this site, go onto this account and add your game to the wish list. The fool will buy it, thinking it's what he wanted. Oh yeah, crikey, there was uh, paper clips. That was a punishment game. Was it all that punishing? Didn't it have an end? I seem to recall that game finishing. 
Scientists study the rock. And shards... Okay, well, get to analyzing, please. You're doing great. Sometimes help messages will appear. Okay. Let me know when... Well, let me know when something helpful does appear. Fire arrows, ice arrows... Zelda now. Weak spot, that sounds like a critical hitting thing. Can we kind of shove you away or not even have you? Don't know how to unlock any of these talents, even though it was one of the first things we were shown. Can you imagine if the upcoming EU5 is early- oh god, if Paradox were to ever do uh, early access to our mainline game. That'd be disturbing. Like, what, what measure of desperation would put Paradox into doing early access on their grand strategies? Of course, then comes the argument, well, the games are already early access, aren't they? Maybe. I don't buy it, but maybe. I still kind of want to play Victoria 3, but thinking about playing Victoria 3 is a whole lot better than playing Victoria 3. <laughs> Release EU4 was flawless and had no crashes or bugs. Had plenty of crashes, had plenty of performance issues, was devoid of a lot of content. Good grief. Well, that's the weak point discovery thing happening right there, isn't it? Is that something one has to do constantly, or...? Yeah, because I think the weak points have overtaken everything in terms of DPS. By increasing your collection rate, this bar will fill up crew talent points when it is full. Well, we do want talents, don't we? Maybe try CK3 again, it has some new depth to it. Mm. I do love CK3, it's definitely the best release paradoxes ever done. But after playing it about three times, I'd say you've seen everything that game has to offer. So I'd be hard-pressed to imagine what they're doing now. That would make it worth checking out. Propulsion Lab. Okay, just give me, give me everything that we got. The concept here seems very strange. So we're just hitting a rock, which seems to be generating endless shards. So we put the shards in here and the shards are used to do stuff. I feel like there's a level of abstraction too much going on here. I like it when my incremental games at least have something that makes a bit of sense. You know, in Cookie Clicker, at least you're making cookies. Everyone can understand that. Anything about making money is easy to understand. What is going on here? Did you play Imperator Rome? I did play Imperator Rome. It's really solid now. Ah. Ah. I'm borderline tempted. The thing is, my heart really calls out for a nice grand strategy game to play right now. I was looking at a game Mordcal was streaming, what was it? Something of Glory? Fields of Glory? That doesn't feel right, but maybe it was. Made my heart yearn for the fun times. I mean, that game specifically didn't look so good, but it uh, certainly inspired me. My problem with incremental games, says Grufflow, is that everything increases in price so much, there's not many metas to, pay, uh, to play. 
I actually quite like you know maxing something out until it's no longer feasible to keep plugging into it and then finding something else to go for. Let's see what these fire arrows are all about. 12 fire damage, ignites damage over time, range of not to 3. Alright, go and shoot the thing, will you? There they are. <laughs> That's quite funny. Also, the problem with these games is it's the kind of thing you leave on overnight and then come back to, and then all of a sudden it's a chore. It's suddenly like doing the laundry or washing the dishes. That said, I've been leaving a Vorion running overnight far too often. Do I have a leg to stand on regarding that? I wonder how big this gets. Check your CPU usage. Check if this is mining crypto. I highly doubt it. It's using 0.2% of my CPU. Okay, well, I think we've already seen what this game is about. Should I just minimize it and leave it running in the background if it's not so expensive? Yeah, I think I will. Also, let's tell it to be quiet. Just mute the thing entirely. All right, man, we're blazing our way through that, uh, through these games. That's four of them down already. Okay, let's look at a game that actually looks like a game, unlike most of the stuff we've seen today. I did not name these games ahead of time, so hopefully nobody has any clue what we're jumping into. I'd hate to be predictable. Also, let's actually capture the new game. There we go. I very frequently just get unsolicited messages of, Hey Jake, have you checked out Game? And very rarely do they actually come with any justification as to why I should enjoy them or look into them or anything of the sort. But Stranded Alien Dawn was mentioned, I took one look at it and I went, eh, Surviving Mars guys, so it's probably just Surviving Mars reskinned some way, somehow. But something in my head said, go and check it out anyway, Jake, so let's do exactly that. We recommend new players complete the Game Basics tutorial. Well, who am I to say that I know better than you? Let's do it. It looks like a discount everything. <laughs> Steady now, we only just fired the game up and I once again forgot to update my game on Twitch. We are playing Stranded Alien Dawn. That is the name of the game, right? So it's not showing, there we go. Stranded Alien Dawn, bang. Tutorial, interact with the unknown. Da 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 da, -da. okay, great. We're playing as three ugly mofos here. We wazzed, we rotate, interact, select things, right click, menu, availability, survivors, activity, okay. So how about we look at this thing? If the screen could stop shaking for a wee bit. Screen shake has never been good, yet it still gets used. It's like the motion blur or depth of field. I'm immediately getting feelings of that pretty awful environmental blurb game. What was it called? Mm, I've completely forgotten. But it had a sequel. Don't know if the sequel's out yet or not. Oh boy, I am really getting surviving Mars feelings out of this. So, you take care of scavenging that. We'll also. Mark you for cutting, and mark some tree for cutting. This tiny little baby one. Blacksmith.mp3 stock sound, my beloved! <laughs> oh, okay. Just appearing at your ground there. Boy, this feels early access. Right, we can pause, or we can use space key. Lovely. Increase with plus and minus. And also with number keys, now that's nice. 
Some games use plus and minus or numbers, or sometimes they just make you click. This one lets you do all three. That's actually a big plus in my book. Now go and collect everything. I mean, hey, look, it's collecting resources, it's managing people, it's practically Frostpunk, right? Except a big strength of Frostpunk was that the people were just mindless automatons. I didn't need to care about their names, their faces, their relationships. I just sent them over to the coal mines and they got to work. Right, resource bar. Maybe this is more like RimWorld. Build a camp. Build a basic camp. What the hell was the name of that game? This is going to bother me. Um... Ah, jeez. I'm actually looking through my Steam library here, trying to figure out what it was. What would it have been under? Do I have survival, city building? No, not banished. Mm, definitely not Terra Nil. Not Anomaly. Not Terra Nova. You can see just how memorable a game it was, that no one could remember the name of it. It's going to bother me if I don't uh, don't find it and point that finger. What in God's name? What would I have kept it under? It had that opening that was very Greta style. How dare you? The world is uh, the world is dead now. Not surviving aftermath. Not dawn of man. Is it under my colony sims? No, it's not. Is it under city builder? Against storm, banished, Caesar, door from an end zone! End zone, a world apart. That was it. Hey, maybe we can maybe we can fire it up here. You know, trying to, trying to play one game, but let's just look at another one for the hell of it. Get out of here and have a look. End zone, a world apart. Anyone remember this? Remember having it plugged? Jake, it's practically Frostpunk. You'll love it. Oh, I didn't love it. It was not a particularly exciting or enjoyable or deep game to play. And the thing is, they had a sequel already. Is it out, though? Can we find it somewhere? They're putting out news about the next game. Well, best way to check would be check for End Zone 2. Here we go. Hang on, how are you on my wish list? <laughs> Who, who's accessing my account and putting games on my wish list? Get off. Early access. Spit on this. Anyway, get away. I'm playing an actual game here. Maybe. Okay, use our resources. Create a shelter. Create sleeping spots. Okay, so... We, we really are in room world time here. We don't press B to build. We're gonna have a crummy little scrap metal place here on a lovely non-hexagonal grid. We rotate with not O. Where would we rather set up next to? Probably the sturdiness of these rocks. There you go. Looks like you subconsciously want the game. No. Mm -mm. Nothing like an early access survival crafter game. To really make you appreciate other games. <laughs> what a shelter! Okay, well, wonderful. We gonna we gonna sleep inside this thing? Can we rotate this as well? Yeah, there we go. Surely we want three of them. Can I shift to continue to build more of them? There we go. That's how you do it. We're all gonna have to learn to get cozy here in our beautiful shelter. Can you rename the poor schmucks? Always worth checking. I adore games where we can rename people to hapless people from chat, but I like it even more if I can go to a names list and just generate it like in Motorsport Manager. Or 
Rogue Survivor, a game I am sorely tempted to murder bingo again. It was... It's probably the best murder bingo game that I've uh, ever streamed. Anyway, uh... Connor Drice, I am not seeing an ability to rename you. Absolutely. Oh, probably because it's giving us a backlog with his names and... Uh, not backlog. Story thing with his name and such. Okay, can't see it. Maybe you can't while in tutorial mode. Ah, good point. Maybe once... Oh, I forget, we are in tutorial mode, aren't we? Let's get our campfire going. Scrap metal, crummy campfire. There you go. Stockpiles, stockpiles, construction material, wood, stone, big, small. Place a stockpile under a roof. I'm already out of roof. Do I need to build a bigger shelter? You can copy an existing construction by using the copy tool. Sure, does that mean I could just extend it like that? The legally distinct rim world. Time for the Frumbo attack. Frumbo can't go manhunter. Suddenly nimbostratus.mp3. Alright, well, uh, can I drag this out to be larger? Create a stockpile, two tiles under the roofs. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Looks like it only goes along the ways. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> what a piece of work. Yes, people need rest, relaxation, fullness, happiness, health. Good for them. Okay, but now you want me to make another one? Place the stockpile two tiles opposite to the first. Alright. There you go. Observe how they move the items around. Okay. Familiar looking. Everything on this planet is new to your survivors. Locate plants, farming, observe them. Good old fashioned research on research desk. Yes. Observe these orange mushrooms, please. Also, I was meant to be observing how my characters put things in the stockpile. enjoying going out for a while. This really is just legally distinct rim world, isn't it? But they've applied the surviving Mars tech to it. Maybe I should have checked my message on why this game's worth checking out. You know what? I'll do exactly that. Oh, is it one of those games that always quietens when I tab out? Not on my watch, you don't. Alright, well, Connor goes and observes the strange mushrooms. Let me see what I was told about this game. Wait, what? Mute when minimized. No. Ah, but we need to apply. Search for times I've been pinged about stranded. Have you thought about doing a long play of Stranded, Alien Dawn? It's kind of like RimWorld and State of Decay mixture, but with aliens, not zombies. I think it's something you can definitely get addicted to, and it's right up your street. Okay. State of Decay. Uh, maybe I was maybe I was fooled. <laughs> State of Decay. I do love State of Decay. I always want to play more State of Decay. Okay, well, I guess we're going to get legally distinct research desking. We've got some emergency rations, cloth. Not a whole lot of scrap metal, unless the scrap metal is oh, it's just lying over here. Outside and refrigerated. 
Okay, but either way, let's get ourselves a crummy research desk. Maybe next to this fireplace. The thing about picking up a game like this quite readily is you got no idea what the optimal way to do anything is. Optimal is maybe not in the right choice of words, but uh, just doing things efficiently. It, I am often reminded that at one point I streamed RimWorld blindly, and uh, I was hopeless at it. It was just an adventure in how badly I could mess up for all of my people. And look at me now, I can naked brutality 500% the game with no losses. Alright, so that bullet might have gone through some, uh, who was it, smuggler? Smuggler's brain might have taken a bullet through it, but he survived in a vegetative state. Legally distinct research screen here. Optimal way to play this game is to alt F4 and open rimworld.exe. <laughs> Alright, what do you want me to do here? Open, manage the thing, Q weapons smithing. We're getting Neolithic here. Mackie, what are you doing? Just standing around smelling your own farts here. Well, to start, Dark Young is looking at this, wishing he could afford a place like this. Your blue jeans and bomber jacket for Raka here. Alright, have we completed that? Not sure I completed observing these orange mushroom. Go on, take a bite. Pasty Thanos. Do people have different skill sets? Oh, here we go. I must steal myself to survive. This is looking very Rimworld mechanically. Yeah, there we go. Legally distinct eight without table. So the problem is when a game just rips off another game, and maybe rips off is a bit fierce, but maybe a game wants to knuckle in on somebody else's territory, in this case RimWorld, you've always got to answer the question, why would I play this instead of playing RimWorld? And that stands for many things. EGS comes in with their digital game store. Well, why would I use this instead of Steam? That's where all my games are. And it's got all these features that they built up over years. What do you have? Not a shopping cart, that's for sure. Time to get crafting, build a workbench. It may fail when done by low skill, just like in RimWorld. Multiple tasks, production limit, allowed ingredients, applicable. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, you know what? I'm already not interested in streaming this. <laughs> it's not a game I want to learn on stream. It's a game I might pick up a bit more in my spare time, and if I still end up uh, coming back to it and enjoying it, then it might be something I do on stream. But going through the basic ropes on a game like this that is just 3D RimWorld... Where's the... where's the joy in that? Get away from me. Exit the game now, bring it to main menu. The answer from that was Functional UI. RimWorld says itself had no answer to that versus Dwarf Fortress. RimWorld had many answers to Dwarf Fortress. I wonder which one is the more successful game right now. Anyway, I actually don't like Z-levels in those kinds of games, so if everything else was the same, I'd still pick RimWorld over Dwarf Fortress. Right, get away, end zone, world apart. You're not up to bat here. But what is up to bat? is another game, because I maybe bought too many games. Had to answer, not no answer. Ah. Well, my answer is reading comprehension. And also no. Right. Get out of here, stranded alien Don. I may or may not give you a chance off-stream. To be fair, it's always tough to stream a game blind when you need to learn so much about how to play it. It's not like picking up a platformer or a first-person shooter where you, know, everything, you already know 95% of what you're meant to be doing in the game. Alright, 
right, it should look like a blank screen for you, and now it should look like not a blank screen for you. Graveyard Shift. I'm pretty sure I had this game recommended to me. Where and how? You know, I'm going to do another, another quick check. When have I been pinged about the word graveyard? It helps if I spell it right. Graveyard. Oh god, it's just full of... Uh, Ship Graveyard Simulator. What about Graveyard Shift? No, it's just people talking about actual Graveyard Shift. Well, I'm pretty sure I had this game recommended to me in some capacity. Yeah, spooky games, most likely. Well, let's go and check it out. And uh, let's also update our game list here to Graveyard Shift. Boom. In the silence of the night, the... oh, okay. And people wonder why sometimes I just do long play votes with nothing but my own chosen games in them. Achievement already, huzzah. I'm glad to see you, and I'm sure we've hired a great guardian. I know that during the first few nights, you might not feel comfortable in this place, and may be a bit scared. But you'll get used to it soon. This cemetery is the most peaceful place at night, and you'll find enjoyment in the tranquility and silence of this place. Of course, you need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. You should know that many famous people are buried here. Go to Johnny's to get all the details from him. What? <laughs> okay. Here's my Wii map. We need to go over to the security room, so that's just in and left. Very well. I'm always on the lookout for some new good spooky games. And sometimes they can come out of nowhere and really surprise you, like Mortuary Assistant. You must be the new night shift guard. You should know that guarding the cemetery isn't easy. The cemetery is equipped with CCTV cameras due to the burial of many famous individuals. You must regularly check the cameras and never let anyone in. Tonight the cemetery has three guests. Due to the time constraints and a lack of proper and secure mortuary around the city, they had to store the bodies of the ghost rock group here tonight. Tomorrow, the funeral for these will be held, and you must be very attentive at the cemetery. There's something very important that the priest told me not to tell you, but I'll share it with you. The previous night shift guard died of a heart attack and we found his body at the church door with a bluish complexion and a terrified look on his face. I don't want to scare you, but I thought it's better that you know and stay more alert. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact me. Remember to regularly check the cameras. I'm wondering that too, Ion Shicks. Alright. 
Ask the guy to get out of the cemetery. Opening hours are over. There's a guy in the cemetery? Uh, excuse me, sir. I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards, and I have to lock the gate. Okay, so we already got Lurch coming in. That's a good question. Are we a manlet? I don't have a functional crouch button. Enter security room, check the CCTV. It seems like a pretty cushy job, I wouldn't mind this. I worked a lot of a lot of night shifts on security. I quite like night shift. What I didn't like was jumping between night shift and day shift. Oh man, your your internal clock just gets all kinds of scunnered. Especially because day shift usually starts very early. Some places as early as 4 a.m. I hope you're not superstitious, Jake. Not in the slightest. I don't think I did any security for a place that would be really spooky spooky. I mean, I did some security for relatively abandoned um, workplaces, warehouses, uh, industrial areas that had only a skeleton amount of administrative stuff still going on there. But nothing like a graveyard or a mortuary. This game has got a lot of awful visual things going on. Can we do anything about it? Depth of field, off. Smoothing camera, mm, that's probably just motion blur. Off. Head bobbing, ugh. Subtitles on, on. Is that going to be better? Actually, it's kind of worse in a bunch of ways, but whatever. Yeah, that uh, that threw me for a bit as well, Marvin. The buttons for on and off are all sorts of messed up. This is a terrible camera. Has no range of vision. At this with this angle, it shouldn't even be moving. Okay, we're just watching CCTV. Maybe Lurch is going to come back. He wants to continue to pay his respects. Put on EU3, Jake, for the authentic security guard experience. Um, Yeah, I was about to say, no, it was EU4 when I was in security guard, but no, uh, EU4 came out during my time as a security guard. Oh, that was great. My whole life for a while was just security and EU4. Pretty good life. Got a camera inside. What is this, anyway? Oh no! Something's leaking. Right, I gotta. I gotta go deal with that. But how do I come away from this? Well, I assume something's leaking. Although I didn't pay attention to where exactly it was. I'm sure we'll get a look around. Do I have a torch? Why is there a bed here? Just encouraging me to sleep on the job. It's also got a bit of a fish eye lens look to it. Okay, well, let's see if we can 
use our eyes and ears and suss out where that was. I would sometimes come across things like this on my security show, pipes not working, electricity not working in a certain place, keycard readers down and whatnot. You know what I didn't do? Fix any of it. I find something like that, I call up maintenance and tell them. Security work is all about finding stuff that's not your responsibility. Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? Why would a demon cry? Devils may cri- what the hell was that? I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I seldom believe my eyes. Exactly. Observe and report. Very uncommon for you to actually have to intervene on something. Oh, now we're talking. Hey, where's my music? I wonder where this is. Oh no, one of the bodies has fallen off. I better go deal with that. Change has occurred in the dissection hall, yes. Yeah, must be Lurch. Was this a dissection lab? I guess so, or dissection hall. Not much of a lab, is it? Is it in here? Uh, okay. Come on, up you go. Staff only, but I am the staff. That is not whether it is what a skull that is not whether it is real or f yeah, okay outside of my pay grade. Sure the door is locked while we're at this. Get off the internet. Yeah, hey, if we got a mini mausoleum like this, surely theft is of concern. So it stands to reason that we've got some kind of security guarding going on here. Oh, is that somebody at the gate? 
Hang on, I need to pan back. Yeah, I think there's someone at the gate there. Huh, oh, okay. Better go and see what they want. seems to not be working. <laughs> These this bed sheets are horrible. Uh, okay. Ah, here we go. I am the security guard of the cemetery. I'm leaving message for the next guard. At night, between three and four, I see a very frightening nun. I don't dare approach her. Crying, eerie, disturbing, unbearable. I have recently found a solution. Whispered Jesus Christ 20 times. Ah. Uh, maybe. Certainly, here is the news broadcast. Mm hmm. Well, at least the bodies are staying where I left them. What, do I have to climb out the window here? I did one time have a locked door bit of shenanigans in my security days. I ended up just breaking the door down. It was a pretty solid door though, it was no, no short effort on that part. You need to... I need to rest? Okay. Ew. I can practically feel the squelch of getting on this mattress. I always find dream sequences very out of place in games like this. In Mortuary Assistant, it was by far the weakest part of the game when you had the dream sequences. It pulls you out of everything. Like, I, I know I'm in a dream here, so the spookiness has gone away. And everything becomes a bit too abstract. Yeah, at least it's not the Mass Effect 3 dream. I don't know, might be a little kid running around here. I'm guessing walking towards the light is what we're meant to do. That's what you do in dreams, right? Oh, but there's another light over here. The hardest part of today is going to be choosing which of these games is the worst. I thought with so many games, one of them was bound to be really good. Rusted Moss was quite promising. What? What dish even was that? Also, did the radio move? Yeah, the radio was over here. Now it's over there. Soldering iron moved. Someone's been in and moved all my stuff. And I've gotten the security shack just the way I like it. To be fair, some of the security cabins that I was in were were right states. Nothing as bad as this, but some really lazy people get employed in that work. And of course, they're, they're going to treat that place like their own. Some of them really stank as well. Especially if you enter your shift just after Nigerian and he's been eating his dinner in there. That is some um, pongy food. 
Plenty of Nigerians up in the north of Scotland all working for the oil. Well, most of them working for the oil. Evidently some of them working for the security. Oh my. Something setting off the car. I bet it was Lurch again. Bodies are still where we left them. Looks like it's wet on the inside there. Is the door going to open this time? Is this going to continue to be a problem? Pick up the flashlight. Find a way to disable the alarm. Okay, so about that flashlight. What was that? Reality is is something caused by lack of drugs. Reality is an illusion caused by the lack of drugs. Important lessons you're learning here. Where is my li There's my li Was that always there? Fascinating. I have ten packs of camera batteries. I think I might actually prefer playing Infra over most of the games today. I need a tool. Okay. It's a terrible torch. Oh wow, we're right in the middle of the city here. Hmm. At least in Mortuary Assistant, the place that we were in was quite far away from civilization. Or at least it felt like it. It felt very suburban. Yeah, this looks like a tool and a half. Uh, can I have it, please? No? Okay then. How about this? Boy, what a mess. We're just gonna cut the wire. Legally distinct, not Mercedes. Hey, is Lurch at the gate again? No, but the padlock that was on the gate is now gone. Hmm, okay. It's a power outage. Find the fuse. You mean a replacement fuse or the fuse box? Because heavens knows where they're hiding the fuses. Well, it does say fuse with a big old arrow next to it. That's oh, alright, it has been to ask. My mother can look after herself. <laughs> okay. Incredible. This is so bad. 
<laughs> I'm really going to have to dig up where this game came from, because this is just awful. We played a pretty decent spooky game not too long ago. Everything about it was pretty good until the end, and it was something like one of Chakra's collections, a very chinese game. And funnily enough, I think we were also security guard in that one. Not really sure if I see the appeal in playing Amnesia Bunker Warble. I played the original Amnesia The Dark Descent, and then I played Machine for Pigs, and it was terrible. So I just assumed that... Who were they again? Insomnia Games? So I assumed whoever was behind it just uh, lost their mojo when it came to making decent spooky games. Oh god, the band members are at it again. Yeah, hang on, it, it looks like one of them's not even in there little black bin bag anymore. Alright, well, let's go and make sure they stay fully dead. How could the bodies have raised? I think something that Mortuary Assistant ended up doing really well that we're not seeing much of otherwise, is that Mortuary Assistant had you puzzling your way through accomplishing a task, and during the task, spooky things would happen to you. And the nice thing is that having to solve the task puts you under a bit of stress that makes you all the more susceptible to the spooky things that are happening. That, and if you got an uninterrupted segment to just keep working on the tasks, it would kind of start making you think, hey, I'm not spooked. Which makes the spooky times come in and just be all the more terrifying. At least that was my experience. Some other people played Mortuary Assistant and did not find it to be particularly spooky. Find a way out. Why? Jesus, where's the key? Hmm, okay. Key inside the coffin. Hmm, any good games yet? Asks Poland. You ask for too much. Rusted moss looked quite promising. But the big but there is it's a Metroidvania, which is not often my jam. I just wanted to check it out because I was interested in its grappling hook mechanic. We will not be buried here. Okay, so the band members are not happy with their incarceration. Oh well, if you don't want to be buried, looks like we have an alternative. A, uh, an incinerator which is on for some reason. Axe for woods! <laughs> oh, jinx. Making me laugh is not often considered spooky. So how do I axe for woods? I don't know, do I actually have a controller setting here? Pistol? We've got a pistol button? That does not bode well. Oh, I wonder. 
wonder if they went out the window. Now the last one's <laughs> gone up. Oh, dearie me. Maybe I'm going to need that axe for wood at this rate. Oh, is he going to let me out? Find a way out. Well, I reckon I'm holding on to a few decent ways out. Not to mention the window is open. I could just go out the window. That doesn't seem to be much of an option here. Is Alt F4 a way out? <laughs> Not yet. I want to see what this game... Yeah, i got to let this game take off. Sometimes I can be impressed by a bit of a slow... But what in God's name is that? I think it's a cracked up plastic bottle. Oh, there we go. We needed to use the axe for wood on wood to open a window, despite there being another open window. Okay. Keep Johnny informed on the Johnny. All right. Shame I have no pistol. Oh yeah, I see. The problem was we didn't have axe for cloth, just axe for wood. I think I was clearly not happy about being chased out, and my radio has moved again. And doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on there? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh. Jesus. Oh well, better get on with the shift. Okay. Mm Lost Illuminados are at it again. fix first, the broken CCTV or the guy that's clearly digging something up? Never had anybody trespassing during any of my shifts. Not that I can remember at least. Someone is digging a grave in the cemetery. Oh, it might be a grave. It might be Dompe the grave digger. Trying to fish up another heart piece. Or the legendary Herulean treasure. Now, unfortunately, I'm really bad at orienteering. Even in a fairly small place like this. Not especially in a small place like this. That was a lot to dig. 
Can we jump in? Maybe. <laughs> okay. But why? WTF, there's something wrong with this graveyard. I have to leave as soon as possible. Uh-huh. Can we not just go back to bed? On that squelchy, bloody, pus-stained mattress? Was I supposed to be a cemetery guard? Or a damn ghost club? I will not stay here. The lock has been ch <laughs> a lurch. seem to move anymore. Well, I can't was to move anymore. I can tilt my head. I can jump. I can turn off my flashlight. But I absolutely cannot move. Is this part of the game? Uh, please game. I'm trying to give you every chance I can because I like a good spook. And what can I say? It's nice to see my old profession in video games when you're not just a walking bullet target. But I think I've broken the game somewhat. What's my load option? Ah, oh, this was just after we used the axe for wood. You know, Steam sends you those messages like, hey, you've been refunding too many games. If you keep doing this, we might revoke your right to refund games. Has anybody ever actually had that happen to them? I do refund a fair, uh, a fair few games, but I also buy a lot of games. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. All right. Wonder if there's speed runs to this game. Right, so once more, let's find the grave digger. Have our spooky flying guy moment, get out of here and try not to soft lock the game again. <gasps> hmm. Is this a Polish game? These look awfully Polish. Maybe this passes for spookiness in Poland. Yeah, Slavo Jank all along.
Maybe I messed everything up by pressing tab at an inopportune time or something similar, but now I can back away. There we go. Let's get back to the security room. Is that meant to be a hearse? scariest thing is the notion that we might end up with a gun in this game. If this game has combat on top of everything else, oh boy. Maybe that's just a carryover from this engine being used for some other Slavic jank. Alright, well, we are here. What am I meant to do? Lock up. There we go. Go to sleep. Call. Radio. Anything? Oh, something's going on in the little mausoleum-y place. We're meant to say Jesus Christ 20 times, or else she's going to... Well, I don't know, what's the spookiest thing that could happen to a pole? There's someone in the church, check it. This guy doesn't want to be here anymore. And I still don't have my gun. Is that broom always there? <laughs> Scariest thing for a Pole being deported from Germany. I've got an altogether rather uh, high opinion of Poles. Met several of them. There's quite a lot of them in the UK. Well, oh, they really get around, don't they? Generally hardworking individuals. Now, where was that thing? It was over in the church, right? Which I assume is what I'm looking at here, but. Hey. The way is. Bo okay, now there we go. Alright, Lassie, clear out. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's cheap. We, the buried ones, have a message for you. A demon has been buried here tormenting us. Condemned to destroy the demon. Save us! Okay. I guess so. Yeah, jump scares are so tremendously undeserved. And it was one of the real downsides of that spooky convenience store game that wasn't very spooky at all. It had one jump scare. You're looking at the camera, and then suddenly, spooky face out of nowhere. Ah. And then otherwise, I, I don't think there's anything spooky in that game. I, I think there's a little ghostly looking kid that's playing around with the automatic doors. And things like that are kind of good for building up the suspense, but just, whoa, spook is just... Oh, man. How do you miss the mark so hard? All right, wait, oh, I was meant to follow footprints. Which I was inadvertently doing. What game do you consider actually scary? Mortuary Assistant, Witch's House, Al Oni. That nighttime security shift game, not this one, but the one that I played uh, a few months ago. Crowbar's mine now. Yeah, Witch's House is good. I actually did replay it. It wasn't so good in a replay, but it was really good in a first play. Oh wait, the footprints still lead along to here. 
Oh, I think I'm following them the wrong way. Some kind of triple footprint pattern. I'm following Jake the Peg here. Something ain't adding up. They led me here. There must be something up. Maybe there's a gun. Okay, so I would not be coming down here. Well, not alone at least. I'd come down here with someone else and then turn off the flashlight and scream just to spook them. I did that with my cousin one time. A very fond memory that warms my heart to think about. I wonder if he's still spooked about that. Why are there all the graves here? I doubt they're being held for storage. So much decay, we could be taking a lot of photos around here with infra. Hello, Lurch. It's, it's getting a bit comical more than anything else. This is awful. Why, why, am I, why do I have this? Where did this recommendation come from? I'll need to look into that. Now that isn't right. It's kind of chained up like the original Red Crimson in the RE1 remake. Williams or Parrington, youngest child between books and rotting corpses. Right. You complain about the recommendation, but you keep playing. I try to give games a decent chance. I love games. I'm sure I love this game. But for all I know, it's just sitting on the perfect spook moments, and I just need to meet the game halfway. Well, at this point it's feeling more like two-thirds of the way on my behalf. Search the underground too. Oh, I'm searching. You got anything for me? At this point, maybe we should just. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think his eyes are still there. I think we've reached a critical failure here for the second time. 
I have managed to soft lock myself. We don't have like a console command or something, do we? Tilde back F, no, okay. Could I close the tomb? Uh, all right, how far back are we going this time? I have a feeling these Polish developers may, may not be eating tonight after the pending refund. I don't like refunding games, but given this one has now soft locked on me twice in addition to being terrible, could easily be happening. Alright, I need to swiftly make my way through. Maybe we can say hi to Lurch another couple of times. Next game. How many games do you think I got? I think this is actually the last game from the batch that I bought in the Steam sale. I didn't expect to be playing all of them today. The only other one remaining, I think, is Dragon's Dogma, and that one still hasn't downloaded fully yet. I had to pause the download to start the stream today. This is a different tomb, right? Ah, uh, here we go. 60 years of life, spent his entire life trying to meet the devil. He was possessed by the devil. Torment, slaughter, killed by the cops. Well, good for you. Can I have your key? Maybe with the key, I can enter the suspended coffin area. Also, maybe I can open up this tomb here without getting soft locked. Desecrating a lot of tombs today. Crack them all open, shall we? Whoa. Not convinced that it was meant to do that. Was there even a body in here? Or just a load of books? Maybe the actual body is the one suspended over in the candle room. Let's go and check it out, if I can remember my way back there. Ah yes, here we go. Uh, here we go. Oh, but I still need to check the tomb. Oh, look, I got a health bar thing in the bottom left. And my torch has a bar? Photo album. I have a photo album? Something is panning around there. Can we zoom? Oh, okay, there we go. Now it opens from the other side. How did I... You know what, maybe we should stop asking questions and start stumming the devil. Huh? 
<laughs> the screw hovering 10 centimeters from the lock was a nice touch. <laughs> Look at that. What a load of nonsense. All right, so someone's been here. There's fresh-ish looking blood there. Blood doesn't stay that level of red when it's not so fresh. Oh, hey! Axe for iron! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Made of sterner stuff than axe for wood. All right, let's get chippity chopping. Hey, weren't you the guy we saw at the front door? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Devil, Possessed, Keep You Away, Lord Forgive You, 1917. Alright, good for you. Why do I have a Zippo lighter all of a sudden? Which I'm using as well as my torch. I'm trying game. I am really trying game. <laughs> Better inspect my axe. Holy Jesus. Oh boy. Breathe in all that dead people fume. Exit the two. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Well, wasn't that fun. Wasn't it? He's after me, isn't he? How's this going to look to my superiors come morning time? So yeah, I got really drunk on lighter fluid during my shift and uh, went down, desecrated several tombs and torched one of them. Also I lost the famous band member bodies that I was meant to be protecting. The crying lass that I need to be saying Jesus Christ to is no longer locked, but we seem to have lost our motivation to leave the place. Come on, let's go and console the crying lassie. You'll be okay, buddy. <laughs> Well, that was an achievement worthy. Crying nun met the dead nun. Good thing we remembered to say Jesus Christ. Broke the code of observe and report. The security guard is a stain on the industry. <laughs> yes, the glorious tapestry that is the security guard industry it has finally been blemished. The glorious tapestry. Oh. I've slept in some minging places in my time, but I would take the floor over that bed. I would take some of the floor over that bed. Well, the bed does come with a free copy of Muff Dive.
Oh, the grave diggers at it again. The lady's back in the mausoleum. Lurch is back. Someone's mashed up the hearse. The guy I just torched is outside. Jesus has gone evil. The bodies are hanging. See you in hell! We just go to bed. Oh. Devil does not burn. This is just awful. The door wasn't always like that, was it? Pretty sure there was a door handle, not a door whatever that is. Also, the win the window has changed. There used to be all this crap in the way here. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm beginning to see the problem now. So I clicked on this, and the game... Oh, 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 okay. I thought I had soft-locked again. Maybe I still have. I thought the whole thing about the devil was that he does burn. So it's replaying this animation, but I'm actually stuck in position. You can kind of tell from where my light is. So that makes three soft locks across the hour or so that we've played this. Let's get back to the shift. The Sisyphean nightmare. <laughs> Wonder if the crying lassie is still going to be there. Oh yeah, she is. Also, a good opportunity to check the car. Oh, oh, it does, it's not been mashed. I thought somebody had put some, uh, like smashed up holes in there. Weirdo's not outside. Maybe I'll try and flank her this time. What if I back my way into you? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now I'm lost. Oh, somebody put the lock back on the thing that I broke into. Yes, yeah, sales already over, and uh, I almost exclusively bought bad games. Dragon's Dogma 2 is really going to have to save me. And no, I'm not streaming that game. Well, I don't intend to. It might be that I play it, and I think, wow, this is actually amazing, and I think it would be even better if I streamed it. But I'd put that at something like a 2% chance. Yeah, see, this is the door. With a handle and a lock. Oh, my cross is already upside down. Ah. But my window is fixed. And now... Yeah, the digging, the spooky lass. There's Lurch again. Can we eye up Lurch? <laughs> Jesus looks a bit cooler now. Yeah, for some reason someone came and changed my door during that time. That's a hell of a way to mess with someone. But the stain's getting worse on this. Right, let's click on this. Not press anything until we're through. Okay, maybe press one more time on it. There we go. And try not to soft lock.
I couldn't stand Dragon's Dogma 1, but I could sense that something really great was within grasp, which is why I'm giving the sequel a chance. Okay, right. Well, I can move now. It's got to be a good sign. Are we meant to go and fix all of these that No, it's just leave. All right, we'll leave. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe not. We really are a manlet, aren't we? What does that say? Not no any note yet objective. Good freaking lord. Well, it's just Silent Hill 2 this thing. took my money and you're taking my time. Oh, could it be an axe for another material? Oh, no. No, it was just a lever. Good, we're back here. To the proper one, because we've got the cardboard bits blocking out the chunks of our window. The door is still different, but at least the cross is the right way up. Mm, no. No signal at all. All right, well, let's go and watch The Grudge, or The Ring, or The... It is The Ring, right? Let's do it. Stand by, okay. me to press play, but specifically pressing play is tricky. Somehow use this. There we go. Play. 
Hello there viewers, today's true story is about a man who was hired as a secure Wind's graveyard. However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there, as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting guard believes them and burns the body of the demon-possessed man. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible, and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again, and the spirits of whispering winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. Hello there viewers, today's true story is... Okay. C can I die now? That would be sweet relief. Or do I have to watch it all again? It's the only thing we have to watch around here. Oh. Don't look at up. Okay. this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting guard believes them and burns the body of the demon-possessed man. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible, and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again, and the spirits of whispering winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. Well, I'm not looking up. I am, however, noticing that horrible-looking hand print on the bed. Still just wants me to watch the VHS again. Hello there viewers. Today's true story. Okay, Rainy wants us to look up the count of three. One, two, done. Wind's graveyard. He realizes that the spirits in this Oh, so we had to do that? Hey, it's daytime. And we did end up sleeping on the floor because the bed was just too disgusting. Also, the VHS player is gone, so we've been robbed. At least we've still got our copy of Muff Dive. What happened to the picture of Jesus? Also... Why can we see the CCTV from the CCTV camera? That's what that is there, right? Okay, we can't, can't actually drive here. We're in Poland, right? So they drive on the right-hand side of the road.
It's a demon up there. At least he's not sitting next to me. How is this not over? Well, that is probably the worst spooky game I've ever played, and I've played a lot of trash. Not the worst game I've ever played, but it's a strong contender. That had nothing going for it from start to finish. Locked me out three times, I think? And I wouldn't say there was a single spook in that. Okay, there were three or four jump scares. All undeserved. Who can we credit for this? Oh, it's just going to show us the same thing again. Any bonus content? No, I don't even, I don't even want to think further. Alright, almost unthinkably, that's me ran through all of the games that... Well, not all of them. I did also pick up... Well, Dungeon Munchies, but that's our long play, and Dragon's Dogma 2, but I'm not streaming that. I did pick up Escape Academy, but I picked that up because I suspected I'll be doing a uh, weekly one-shot challenge of it at some point. So I don't want to stream that here and now. But yeah, what did we do? Love Choice. It was really bad. Rusted Moss looked quite promising. Gnorp was just a fairly standard clicker game. Karma Zoo was pretty dull. Stranded was just... It's RimWorld, but it's not RimWorld and any graveyard shit. This was just piece de resistance of awful for today. You're right, Llama and Rainy. Exactly. For one, let's absolutely make sure that this game is Alt F four away. How did I? Oh my gosh! I got a hundred percent achievements on Graveyard Shift. Meet the nun. Inspect all the coffins. Find the death statue. Find the skull. And, of course, the one you get for just starting the game that 96.6% .6 of players have. Well, lucky me. Anyway, let's cleanse our palate with a game that doesn't suck. Because today has been nothing short of suckiness. Come on, game. Load up a little faster than that. Don't, uh, don't leave me hanging. Yeah, 3.4% of people knew better. Which means I went to the effort of actually installing the game. Where's my card game scene when I need it? Is it gonna show? I swear, sometimes Slay the Spire absolutely does not want to get captured. There we go. 
Ah, so I rediscovered my love for Slay the Spire. And it feels like a great thing to fill in, especially after having such awful games. A20, as ever. Question is, who are we going to play? Last run we did, with the crummy robot, it got a whole lot further than I could have imagined. But we were, we were weak the whole run through. But who will we play as? The Iron Chad, Lady Shiv, a blind ascetic, or another run with a crummy robot? I'll go with whatever seems like the most uh, votes, or whoever gives the most compelling reason for a character. And whilst you figure that out, let's update the game so we don't... Did I ever actually change it over to Graveyard Shift? Hmm, who knows. Well, let's make sure it's on Slay the Spire. Pandy wants Chad the Lad. Oris also wants the Iron Chad, as does Warble. Crummy Robot had too good of a run yesterday and needs. Needs what, Alpha? Wrath and Ruin wants the silent for all of the lurkers out there. Very good, we'll do it for the lurkers then. I'll die swiftly with silent so I can play as anyone else. I'm not very good with silent. I'm not very good with silent or the robot. I'm much better with the Iron Chad or the uh, Watcher, but then Watcher is just overpowered. Apparently the last time I played with you I didn't even reach the boss, so we only get uh, three free fights or some max hit points. How does our run look here? Only two starting locations, one of them chock full of events. I could snipe. Oh my, there's actually an opportunity, if I get extremely lucky, to snipe one elite and the spicy elite. And then maybe be in a position to do another elite or just do normal. That leaves me with very few card rewards, which is a bad place to be. Mmm, surely luck is on my side. Let's go for it. We get Niao's Lament. Three combats, one hit point. There's a very high chance that I see a combat in at least one of these question marks. If it's in two of them, we've failed on our snipe, and we have to roll face first into one of these, but oh well, let's take our chances. You'd need to be very lucky. Well, I am very lucky. Problem is, it's high luck, not good luck. Okay... Probably Dagger Throw is the best one to take immediately. We just need upfront damage in Act 1. Especially worth noting that our boss is Hexaghost. That's a damage race. I don't even need to look there. It says on my little note up over there. Dagger Throw, come to me. Two random card upgrades for 20 hit points. Odds are it's just going to be Strikes and Defends. 20 hit points is a lot to sacrifice. But that's essentially, if I get something good, that's better than resting. I'm going to take the chance. It was just two crummy strikes, which is not good, but better than a poke in the face. Especially when I can heal that back or remove crummy cards. I'm already feeling very injured, but let's play the long game. Especially since we're not likely to see a shop. Well, 10% chance on the question marks to see a shop. I'll remove a card anyway, get rid of a crummy strike, please. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Well, there's our healing. Give that to me. Ah, we did it without getting any fights. So far, at least. Definitely taking that golden idol. I don't mind the trap. I will lose six matches HP. And we get to... Oh, that's a golden idol. Uh, we get to upgrade something of our choosing. Neutralize is tempting because it gives two turns of weak. Dagger throw does considerably more damage. Survivor considerably more block. But I think I'll do neutralize just to keep my enemies weak. Now... Now, now, now. Oh my days, okay. <laughs> I just needed three attacks, but of course I I caned one of my strikes. Doesn't matter though, you're just the one that needs to go down. So, kaplop and kaplop. And I still didn't draw a strike, but that's okay. 
Get out of here. Ooh, excellent early relic to pick up. The White Beast Statue. Every fight will give a potion reward. 100% chance. That means I should not be shy on using potions if it looks good. And also somewhat devalues alchemy. So if I find the alchemy card, it won't be such a brainless pick. Anyway, come to me. Oh, bullet time. Oh, calculated gamble. Very nice cards. Nothing too wrong with flying knee. But reducing the cost of all of my cards to zero, I can play my entire hand with bullet time. It's a heavy card, though. Still might be worth it, though. It would really benefit from having extra draw. Hmm. I'm going to take you. And I'm immediately going to upgrade you. That way I might be able to use a card that draws more cards, then play it, then play everything. Big treasure chest. So I think that means it's a rare relic. Is that big? I think it's big. Ornamental fan. Three attacks, gain four block. Works very well with shiv spamming. I will absolutely take that. And gosh, we get yet another upgrade. Kind of hard-pressed to think what to upgrade at this point. Do I want Survivor to be better, or do I want Dagger Throw to hit harder? It's only three extra damage, but I'm short on other options. I could actually recall. This early, I could recall. Yeah, what the hell. Dagger Throw is not a very convincing upgrade, so I will recall. Okay, the odds of this being an encounter is 50%. If it is not an encounter, we snipe the spicy elite. It is not an encounter! <laughs> it's unlikely you have anything great for me. Ooh, accuracy. We don't have shivs, but if we did, that would be awesome. Could pick up an attack potion. Don't need to, though. Uh... The only cards I can afford are Piercing Wheel back... Ooh, I like backflip. I'm buying that backflip. Alright. It was very unlikely to happen, but we managed to get all the way to the spicy elite. The problem is, we do not have good cards for Hexaghost. But, you know, we, we knew we were going into a bad time. Let's go. Was there an opportunity to snipe Hexaghost, by the way? No, I don't think so. Because this was always using up our last lament. Yeah, no. There, 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 you could carry this up to the boss and snipe the boss in one hit, but... Goodbye, regenerating gremlin orb. I would die to you normally. We get the money, of course. We get the guaranteed potion. We get the key. Captain's wheel! 18 block on turn 3 for free. Uh, I'd rather have turn 1 or turn 2 block, but that's still going to make my turn 3s easier. Now, deal 3 damage 5 times. It's 15 damage on 2 cost. Scales with strength gain, although I don't have strength gain, I have block gain. Nothing that wrong with prepared, but I really need damage output with Hexaghost. Hmm. Gonna take riddled with holes. I have no choice. I have to take damage cards right now. Well, this is a good uh, good time for bullet time. So it'll allow me to play my entire hand here. No questions asked. I wish I had some actual draw going, but I don't. I could actually use my swift pot to get even more going, but I don't see a good reason to do so. I only have one single attack card, which kind of stinks. But yes, I will strike you and then just block all the damage away. Now, now, now. A single, a single strike will take you out. And Survivor blocks you entirely. 
But let's first see what we're drawing here. Yeah, there's a riddle with holes. Tempting, but I wouldn't have the ability to play it all. Which means I gotta get rid of something. Probably the riddle with holes if I'm not gonna be playing it. Actually, could I could I kill this turn? That was fifteen on you. And then I've got ten here. Ah, oh oh, but I can't play you and wait No, no I cannot. I'd need to be able to play both of these with Riddle with Holes, with, uh, which I cannot. So, sorry, you gotta go. So I'm just going to strike you to death, neutralize you, and make sure that we're not taking any damage. Oh, I already had block coming in. And there's my free block from the captain's wheel, so now I just strike, strike, and dead. Lovely jubbly. My guaranteed potion, so we've got Swift and we've got Vulnerable Potion. With still an opportunity to get more. Flef, 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 flex. I'm not fond of acrobatics when you only have three energy, because you use one energy to deal with cards and then you've only got two to play them. I don't like deadly poison either. I don't like poison play in general, it's too slow. Reflex, on the other hand, is just a dead draw if you don't have a lot of discard, and I have no additional discard. Dagger through discards, so does Survivor. But that would mean I'd have to get either of these with that other card. That's not a given. With bullet time, you might want expensive cards. Yeah. Yeah, I could acrobatics into bullet time and have a lot of cards to, to play, couldn't I? It's not unthinkable. What the hell, I will take acrobatics. We'll have a deck that flies through itself very quickly, but I'm going to need more energy. I am sorely lacking actual offensive cards. Okay, what was the uh, the spicy elite? That was Grognord or Gremlinob or whatever his name was, which means this could be Lagavulin or it could be Sentry's Refight. Riddle with Holes is good against the Sentries. Otherwise, I'm not very well placed at dealing with them, especially when they clog my hand. As for Lagavulin, I have no way of dealing with Lagavulin, so it's a very bad idea for me to take that fight. I'll take the regular fight. Riddle with holes. Riddle with holes. Deals 15 damage. That kills you. Doesn't kill you, though, but it does an excellent... Oh, it only... Why did I think this hit everybody? It absolutely doesn't. Anyway, let's just delete you. And let's smack you and keep you neutralized. No, you didn't miss four hours of Slay the Spark. Wow, this is grim, isn't it? But this is where acrobatics comes in handy. We can acrobatic, we can get rid of that, we can make everything free, and then we can just kill you. Didn't even need to make things free, but it was there. Regen Potion, not better than Swift and Fear, I'm afraid. So, I have to ignore that. Bouncing Flask is a little tempting. Especially since we can make it free with bullet time. I should be picking up heavy cards and hoping that I roll into them with bullet time. And now we possibly upgrade... There's five extra damage on Riddle with Holes. But Bouncing Flask can be pretty magical. We could actually go into a Poison build, despite me saying I didn't want a Poison build. Backflip giving extra blocks kind of cool. Mm, let's go Bouncy. I'm going to hope for a very strong start against Hexaghost, because we get the extra two draw on the Ring of the Snake. And he doesn't do anything on first turn. He's just sitting there going, dirty -dur. Uh It's good and bad, because we get bullet time but we don't have any draw. I could Swift Potion and utterly mulch you. Because I got my Strike, my Dagger Throw, my Strike, my Strike, my Riddle with Holes, my Bullet Time. I actually think I'm going to Swift Potion first. There is Dagger Throw for a bit more draw as well. Because I could Dagger Throw and then not. Mm, I don't know if you Voln anyway. I think I'm just going to Swift Potion. See what we end up with. 
Yeah, see, these are actually terrible to draw. Uh, I will neutralize you. That's pretty good. That keeps you weak on your uh, your big initial attack, and it's going to be huge because your initial attack is uh, is based on my max hit points. The more hit points you... Uh, sorry, your current hit points. The more current hit points you have coming into Hexagos, the harder it hits you on its second turn. So I will keep you neutralized. I will dagger throw, then I'll bullet time. Oh, crumbs. I forgot that we had... I, th I didn't even think that was vulnerable. I thought that was weak for some reason, even though I said what it was. Anyway, I don't need defend. I should absolutely be von potioning you. What a mistake to make. Yeah, well, there we go. Anyway, bullet time. Pew! Riddle you with holes. Strike you, strike you, strike you. I lost a little bit of damage output, but what's the man to do? Now you hit me very hard. Four times six, but I've got defend. You've got backflip to go with my defending, and the faster I get through my deck, the happier I am. On the other hand, I'd love to hit you with Bouncing Flask. So do I save the Bouncing Flask for next turn? Or do I try and block as much as I can of this? Never know what we're going to end up with, otherwise I might even rack acrobatics into bullet time again. I'm just going to block. Oh, but I'm wasting my Vuln. Yeah, look at that damage. This is a damage race. There we go. I'll take the damage, I'm not scared. We get some free block going. There's bullet time! That's actually pretty good. Great time for acrobatics. So we acrobat. Uh, I ditch a defend because I have all the defend that I need. I'm a little saddened because all I can really do is bouncing flask. Yeah, actually that that's stinky draw, but bullet time still allows me to bouncing flask you and hit you with dagger throw. And uh, I can't actually draw anything, but I can always discard something. Unless, do I want to draw more cards? Oh, well, I'm not going to draw cards, am I? Because I have no draw on. Never mind. At least we've got some decent-ish passive damage with the poison. Strike, strike, survivor. Mm. Offensive card. Uh, offensive hand to have. But that's okay, playing three attacks gets me four block anyway, and I can do three attacks. Neutralize, strike, riddle with holes. And four block is all I need. Okay, and this is sad. Lots of defense when he does nothing. Strike, strike, move on. Bless that poison. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, poison. And would you look at that, I can acrobatics into bullet time again. This is already working out surprisingly well. Yeah. Let's get rid of that burn. That's excellent. Bullet time everything. Make you bounce. Defend, defend, backflip, don't draw, and then dagger throw last because it still forces me to discard a card. Can't discard when I'm empty. And we've won this fight. Ooh, 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 well. <laughs> we still won the fight, but ouch, ouch, ouch. And we've won this fight. Bye bye. Okay. Some good draw, some bullet timing, and some bouncing flasking actually really won the day for us there. And I'm not sad about using all the potions, because we get a potion after every fight. We even get bonus money, courtesy of the Golden Idol. It was a very unorthodox Act 1, but it was a successful one. The only thing that really wasn't so successful was card acquisition. We only picked up six cards, and there was not a lot of damage output. In fact, these are the only two attack cards we got. Dagger Throw and Riddle with Holes. But... 
There are many ways to win spy- Ooh, we could bullet time again! Imagine. Corpse explosion can be really good for those multi-fights. Add three copies of a card into your hand next turn. I don't know if that synergizes with bullet time's cost reduction. If I make something free, and then I nightmare it, do I still get it free next turn? Because that could be a way to add some very powerful free cards for a further turn. Not to mention nightmare itself would become free. That I don't know. Corpse Explosion is also quite tempting. It poisons them. When they die, they'll take out everything else. I never tried it, but I doubt that, says Ali. Yeah, I think it's got to be Corpse Explosion. You hit something with Corpse Explosion, kill it, take out everybody else in the multi-fights. Nightmare doesn't work with Mummy Hand, but it does work with Setup and Madness. Hmm. But I'm asking if it works with Bullet Time. Anyway, I'll take Corpse Explosion. A lot of multi-fights in the second act. Well, this is dire. I wanted energy, and my only energy option is ectoplasm. I hate ectoplasm. It gets rid of all gold acquisition, counter synergizes with the golden idol. But my other options is empty cage. I could get rid of a strike and a defend, and I wouldn't... Wait, isn't it three? No, it's only two. Okay. Empty card is pretty dire. Only two removes. Ugh. For a boss relic, that's awful. But the other one is get a curse and three relics. No control over what the three relics are, but I think it's one rare, one normal, and one uh, uncommon. And I get a unique curse that I... I forget if you can ever get rid of the bell curse. Probably not. I think it's got to be the bell, because these other options blow. Give me some good relics, please. They won't be energy generating relics, or at least not uh, flat out energy. We have to take the curse. I can live with that. Akebeko's okay. It's amazing with the multi hit that we have. It's going to turn this from 3 damage 5 times to 11 damage 5 times, meaning if I open with Riddle with Holes, we can kill just about any. Well, we can kill half the things in Act 2, so I'm very happy for that. Frozen Egg upgrades every power that we get from now on. We have no powers, so I'm keen to pick up some. Unceasing Top's an interesting one. If we have no cards in our hand, we draw a card. Sadly, that will not synergize with Bullet Time, but it can dig us out of some grim situations. Yeah, you can now take Concentrate. Who would have thought? Well, the Spicy Elite is already taken care of, and we've already recalled. The only thing we need to do is take the key out of a treasure chest. And that means giving up the relic that's inside it. There's an early, mid, and late merchant. I think I'd like to hit the mid merchant if possible. I hate Act 2 Elites, they're terrifying. But maybe I should think a little bit if I have the wherewithal to take them on. Corpse Explosion is an answer to two out of three of the elites in this act. I don't have a good answer for Book of Stabbing, though. Book of Stabbing just keeps attacking you, has a lot of health, and my defense game isn't that great. I do like Act 2 events, though, but I still need better card rewards. I'm thinking we go here. I need to hit that shop. I would have liked a campfire, but it's either or. Now we're fighting one elite. Now we're taking the mid shop. I could change my tune halfway through and decide to take the later shop instead. We'll consider that the golden path for the later shop. Otherwise, we'll stick to this route. I could forgo two fights for two events. I was saying that... Mm, no, one fight becomes one event over here. I did say that I do like Act 2 events. I do really like Act 2 events. Yeah, let's do it. More events, more better. Well, what was I saying about Riddle with Holes? There it is. 
I can backflip into drawing two cards. I can bullet time and do everything. Oh, also, this is pretty nasty on curses. But better to get them out of the way early, right? Let us do our backflip. Nice. All right, bullet time. Help me out here. Everything is free. First attack should absolutely be riddled with holes. But Bouncing Flask is going to get rid of that artifact, which may or may not be something to consider. And then I can hit you with Corpse Explosion, which is a skill, not an attack. Then I can hit you with Riddle for Holes, and we say pretty much goodbye to you. Yep, you are already dead. I could let the poison finish you off, and I will, because that's a fitting end for scum like you. Alright, there's a guaranteed potion right there. Bit of gold, and I do desperately need some better cards right now. Bane's not too bad if we have a bit of poison going, but we really only have one poison card. Our enemies get weakened for a good bit longer, courtesy of Neutralize. So Heal Hook's not the worst, but it's not very good either. Could be nice some setup. It does draw and generate its own energy back. It's just it doesn't do much. Yeah, Bane does work with Akabeko, but it only hits twice as opposed to my riddle with holes. I'm not sure I like any of these cards really. I'll try and keep a relatively lean deck. The leaner it is, the more often we hit bullet time. So let's just pass by on these. Upgrade all strikes and defends, or remove a card. I would happily remove a strike. Upgrading all might not be the worst, though. We have a lot to upgrade. Upgrade all defends and two strikes. Hmm. Hmm, but I did just say I wanted a lean hand. Let's try and keep this uh, entire deck as lean as we can, because like I said, the more I draw into bullet time and hit hard, the better. So let's just remove a... It's actually a temptation to remove a defend rather than a strike. Comparing our damage output to our defense output, we have survivor, backflip, all of the defends. Even so, I'm going to get rid of a strike. Elegance, of course. Ah, Merchantman! That's kind of good-ish. Doesn't make me want to go here. What do you have for me? Shivs deal a lot of extra damage, and would you look at that? We got Blade Dance. Bear in mind that we also have... What's he looking for? Here we go. Every three attacks generate four block. Mmm, so this is now a block card. Deal 14 damage, get rid of all non-attack cards. I don't have a lot of discard synergy, though. Mm -hmm. Lean deck, remember? Yeah, I remember. But I am thinking we could transition into a Shiv build with this rather nicely. Doop, doop, doop. Mm, I'm drawn to that pre-upgraded accuracy plus, though. Not sure I'd want Silver Spoon. Kind of want a lot of the cards that uh, Lady has to exhaust. Blade Dance still works with uh, Bullet Time because this adds cards rather than draws them. More acrobatics, more bullet time. Mm, yes and no. I already have acrobatics and backflip. Neither upgraded, might I add. Do I want another unupgraded one? I don't think I do. But I could happily accuracy blade dance. Because all of a sudden that's uh, 30 damage for one power plus four block. I think I'm going to do it. Can I also afford a card remove service? It's 140, 150. No, I can't. Could consider that in a future one, though. Alright, let's do it. Uh, 
Hello, bullet time. Hello, not a bad time for bullet time, especially with acrobatics. If I can kill one of these and potentially even draw my corpse explosion, we could end this. All swift-like. There's also... Uh, it's, it's more than okay to be using potions. We have an endless supply of potions. So let's get drawing three up to ten and discard one. Goodbye, Curse of the Bell. Absolutely bullet timing here. Now, perhaps a bit annoyingly is that I really lack attack cards here. I might actually go for my power potion. Uh, my potion, rather. It is a power potion, what am I saying? On the plus side, they're hitting me for 18, and I can block 18. Still gonna use this potion, though. Oh, man, what a delicious Caltrops. Yes. Yes. Oh, these guys are in for a bad, bad time. Okay, let's see where the Bouncing Flask ends up first. Well, that's kind of cute. Uh, since I have full block anyway, let's just strike down... Normally I'd go for the one that's buffing, but nobody's buffing, so... I'll just hit you like that, and then defend, defend, full block, let Caltrops do its work. Bup, 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 dead. Bup, 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 not dead. Dead. Alright, now you just need to die. I've got my accuracy, but that's of little use here. Uh, well, you know what, it's not doing anything to anybody, so accuracy, neutralize, strike. Don't even need to defend. I cannot believe birds was such an easy fight. Give me my blade dance and kill it. Fairy in a bottle. That's unfortunate. I would like a potion belt. It would work really well with the white beast statue. The thing is, I'm loath to throw away a fairy in a bottle, but that's just insurance. Surely it would be better to have something that helps me actively in a fight. Terror is nice. Choke seems nice, and it is a heavy card. You could now face tank the Book of Stabbing. Mmm, a little bit. He multi-hits though, which is not so great for ferrying. Would like a lot of vulnerable. Choke is great with bullets, kind of. Kind of. I'm looking at terror though. Mm, but choke is pre-upgraded. Let's get choke. Spare some coin, child. 75 for a remove. I will pay that. Gotta get my deck nice and lean. Oh, it's cleric yet again! Get rid of... At this point, I am really thinking about getting rid of a defend over a strike. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, please. Well, I don't know. Look at that not upgraded strike. Now I get rid of defend. Thank you, Cleric. Alright, what do I do with you? Well, I worry a little bit. I'd like to Bouncing Flask you, but you're about to hurt me quite a lot. How about we just make you nice and weak, so I don't have to eat too much of that. And then what do I do? Bouncing Flask Defend? I want to save my Akebeko for you-know-what. To that or I Defend twice instead of taking 18, take 8. But then I don't want to waste my Akabeko, as I said, so yeah, I think I've got to hit you with this and then just defend. This'll hurt, but hey, I've got my fairy in a bottle. There's my riddle with holes, but here is also my acrobatics. And then i got to discard something, but I'm okay with that. Goodbye, defend. Hello, bullet time. Ah, choke is an attack. Kind of a shame. But I definitely need to riddle with holes first. 
Oh, well, you're already dead then. Oh, that's only this turn. However, that's any card, right? So actually, I could just choke you out, choke you out, choke you out, and choke you out. Nice. I didn't consider that, but yeah, choke gets past uh, block. And would you look at that? Silent specific potion, the poison potion. I wonder if this can appear as a potion reward if you get the uh, the relic that lets you get any character's cards. The shining prism? It's some kind of prism. At the start of your turn, apply poison. Pre-upgraded. Set up. Put a hand... Put a card from the from your hand on the top and it's free until it's played. Setup could be extremely handy, because it could guarantee bullet time. I am quite interested in Nauseous Fumes being pre-upgraded, but setup. It's also free, and it makes bullet time free. Get in here, setup. Now I've kind of made myself mostly broke, so I guess I'm not hitting up you. I'll take the fight, the mystery, the chest. Two more fights, potential, well, probable upgrade since I have fairy in the bottle. And then we decide if we want to hit up another shop or take the fights. So either way, we are forced into an elite unless I chicken out at the last moment. Like I said, I don't like at two elites. It is Mystic and Centurion immediately getting attacked. Great opportunity to corpse explode one of them. Yeah, I got the setup with the bullet time, huh? And I have no additional draw. That's a little unfortunate. That's very unfortunate, actually. I might actually corpse explode Mystic and then not attack. Because I want to Akabeko my Riddle with Holes on the Mystic. And that would kill the Mystic. Wouldn't it? It would be 11 times 5. Yeah, 55. Kill the Mystic and do 55 on the Centurion. Alternatively, I do it in the Centurion and then wipe out the Mystic in one hit. You could set up Bullet Time 2 and hope for a better roll. Put a card. Oh, it's from your hand! Oh, I completely misread that. I thought it was any card. Huh, okay, yeah, then. I will just set up bullet time. But I'll still corpse explode. So you get. Uh, who am I corpse exploding? Probably the Mystic. But if I do the Centurion, wipe him out, then you go down, no questions asked. I think I prefer that idea. Can't play an attack, so I just got to play my accuracy or my defend. Defend makes more sense, I don't want to take any unnecessary damage here. Resist the urge to use the attack. Difficult, you know. Uh, well this isn't very good. I still did not get my Riddle with Holes. And I didn't prep myself to have Blade Dance do some crazy damage. Do I just eat to this damage and wait for another opportunity? I'm not going to get bullet time. I really don't want a dagger throw at this point. I'd rather just do a very small amount of blocking and eat my pain sandwich right now. We still did not get riddled with holes. Ooh, this is starting to get very unpleasant. Gonna acrobatics and pray that I get it. And even then, it's still going to hurt like hell. Oh, we didn't get it still. Okay. Uh, no, don't get rid of that. I guess I'm going to defend... Def defend Survivor? This is getting expensive, you know. Okay, well, at least I'm guaranteed to get riddled with holes next turn.
There's my riddle with holes. You've still got your corpse explosion. That's gonna do 55. Yeah, we should we should have you dealt with this turn then. And all I need to do is strike you and then oh wait, no, you're still gonna live through that, aren't you? Oh, that's unfortunate. I could poison potion you, and since I get a free potion anyway, let's do that. Now you're dead. Pop and whomph. Easy money, we replace... Ooh, Swift Potion is very welcome. Because I want to cycle through my deck as quick as I can. Quick Slash isn't bad, since it draws. Counter synergizes a wee bit, though. Cloak and Dagger I rather like, because that's a lot of damage and a bit of block. A lot more damage if upgraded. But maybe I should keep things lean. We're already bloating up a bit too much for my own liking. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna skip. Ooh, medium-sized chest. The Art of War, if you don't play any attacks, gain additional power. That could be useful. We're gonna have a lot of turns like that, I reckon. So give me that Art of War. And on top of that, we get another chest and another medium relic. And the Darkstone Piripat. Let's ignore that altogether and grab the key. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase max HP. Well, I don't plan on getting any more of them, thank you. So, yoink. And there's my riddle with holes, bullet time, acrobatic, bouncing flask start. I love to see it. Draw me three additional cards, s'il vous plaît. And then we'll get rid of Defend, because it's not doing us anything right now. There is an argument that says use the Swift Potion right now and go for an extremely fast Sneko kill. Because that will draw me two additional cards. Bullet Time could help. Bullet Time could also do nothing for me. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, let's give it a go. Hey, Blade Dance, welcome to the party. Alright, bullet time, let's go. Riddle that thing with holes. I don't have a way of vulnerable, do I? No, I didn't pick up terror. Riddle with holes, please. Bop, 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 bop. Bouncing flask, the Sneko. Throw a dagger at the Sneko. Last. Well, actually, the Ascender's Bane is always something that's going to be discardable, isn't it? Actually, I can discard the Defend, that's fine. Yeah, no need for that defend. Goodbye. And then it's time for blade dancing. Shiv, 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 strike, strike plus, strike plus. Bye bye, Snacko. We're all confused, which makes our item, uh, our card cost randomized. Almost got me, Snacko. Almost got me, but I'm afraid you're dead. Skill potion as our reward. Skills work nicely with Art of War. Another choke, an outmaneuver, an escape plan. Draw a card. Uh, I mean, this doesn't do anything. Do I really want another choke? I don't think I do, especially if it's not upgraded. That's a skip a -roo. Okay, backflip for flo uh, block and card. Seems like a decent first choice. Hope that we get something nice, but I'm not counting on it. Well, there's my riddle with holes. It would eliminate the bird. Kind of. It would do 25 on you, but then I could neutralize you to finish you off. Then it's just me against the Chosen. The problem is the Chosen's going to hex me. I don't like digital hex. Also, I don't, I don't want to waste the neutralizer's weak effect on the bird. That's too good a load of damage to do against the Chosen to pass it up. And I think if I neutralize the bird, he's going to do no damage anyway. Let's get that damage done ahead of time. Yeah, there we go. Do absolutely nothing to me, why don't you? I'll take it.
Hmm. Not exactly ideal. Very not ideal, but I think I'll set up the bullet to time and hope for a better turn next turn. I haven't drawn my blade dance, so I think I'll chuck away the defend. Play the accuracy. And then set up bullet time. Now, unfortunately, they gave me two days. They could come in and cause me some issues. Especially since I don't have extra draw next turn. So the, the dream is that I get bullet time, choke, bouncing flask, blade dance, strike. The nightmare is Ascender's Bane, days, days, and something else. Actually, these three with bullet time. That'd be a nightmare, but surely it won't happen. Surely it won't happen. Mm, well, pretty much happened. Bullet time now does nothing for me, and I'm about to eat a lot of pain. Hmm. Damn those days, and damn my lack of draw. Yeah, the potion would get me a skill, but a skill would throw a dazed into here. Could be a real savior, though. Drawing one more card, huh? If it's Blade Dance, that's pretty good. Deflect is just a nothing card. Lure is doing nothing for me. I guess I just escape plan and hope for something awesome. Hey, Ascender's Bane. I really just traded uh, curse for a curse, really. Next turn looks nice, if only I had bullet time there, but I can't set it up again now, can I? Guess I have little choice but to simply attack. I'm going to eat six. Six, twelve, nine, nine. I'll be on death's door, but we have fairy in a bottle. Anyway, for now, let's just try and mulch the chosen little bit. Well, we knew what we were getting. I could floor the bird here and now. Do I have accuracy in play? I do, actually. I could always choke. I should choke out the bird, actually. Because the bird's going to take flat damage from this. If I choke you, I do four. And then, yeah, we've got this. Choke the bird. Dance the blade. Shiv the chosen. Shiv the chosen. Shiv the chosen. We get some free block. You go down. You trigger my fairy in a bottle, which I want you to do. And then you die. Free healing. Now, please die. Oh, God, please die. Okay. Cunning Potion. Add three Shiv pluses to your hand. Yes, please. Malaise. It does exhaust. You can do some pretty cool things with a nice malaise. But it doesn't really do too much for, well, X strength reduction. Nah, not good enough. With no real insurance and not much health, I'm diving right into an elite. I might just rest, unless there's an upgrade that really speaks to me. Blade dance for four shivs is kind of tempting. Corpse explosion getting three extra poison does not speak to me. But I think resting so that I can live to fight another day is the right idea. Uh, I have a not insignificant amount of money. I couldn't buy a relic, but there might be a card or something. But no, I'd rather take the card reward. Oh boy, the statistically speaking hardest fight in the game. Riddle with holes won't kill shelled parasite. Backflip to draw more in the hopes that I find bullet time. And I could do with a block anyway. That's not bullet time. This is very sad. 
I think I need to riddle you with holes and then neutralize you. What's my defense option? It's just defend, defend. And I still take a monstrous amount of damage, unless I want to use a neutralize as well, which I don't because it's an attack. Needs must. Oh yeah, there's also my shiv pluses. I don't have accuracy up though. So it might be a good idea to dig me out of this situation a little bit. Definitely gotta keep you weak. Donk. Yeah, three shiv pluses won't kill you. But it will remove even more of your protection. And like I said, give me that little bit of extra block. Ouch, and more ouch! Corpse Explosion is actually pretty, pretty good in you. It's going to take out the Fungi Beast. However... Six Potion is insufficient. I need some better options here. But I couldn't Corpse Explosion and Blade Dance. But the Blade Dance is 4, 4, and 4, which would work if you didn't have your shield. However, what about Blade Dance, Corpse Explosion? Blade Dance is 4, 4, and 4 for 12, which is 6. So actually, Blade Dance, Corpse Explosion wins. Shiv, 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 Corpse Explosion. Done and done right. Hey, my fairy is back! Oh, I knew it would all work out. Another bouncing flask, a flying knee, and pre upgraded all out attack plus 14 damage on all enemies with a random discard. I could do with an AoE attack. I didn't even look at who my boss is, but it's the collector. I like that random discard, but that doesn't mean I could just play it last and it'll be okay. 14 on all enemies for one? It's not bad, actually. And I do need attack cards, so come to me. Oh, right. Uh, before we even think about the boss. Who is it? It's the Book of Oh My Dears. Well, at least we get riddled with holes right from the start. And you're hitting me for 14 right at the start. Now let's just hit you right back. rat ta 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 do I dagger throw? There's a good chance I'll draw something that I don't want to draw if I dagger throw at you, so I'll just hit you with all out attack. And we eat the pain, which unfortunately gives us wounds. At least they go into the discard pile. There's bullet time with backflip. Not bad. Accuracy with the blade dance too. That's pretty good. So give me my block, give me my two cards. Choke! Amazing. Alright, bullet time time. We go bullet time, I choke you. Then we go accuracy. Then we corpse explode you. Then I strike you. I blade dance and I shiv and I shiv and I shiv. And now you're still going to hurt me a bit. Actually, if I didn't have my fairy in my bottle, I would be dead. But I do. Now get out of here. If I just bounce and flask, you're dead. But if I neutralize strike you, you are dead. So bye-bye. Alright, whenever you apply poison, apply additional poison. Works pretty well with bouncy flask. Some decent dosh, replacement potion. Hmm... I'm not taken with any of these. I never see Glass Knight's Utility as a rare card. 8 damage twice. 16 on 1, not bad, but it gets worse the more you play it. Point is... skip. Even if that flying knee is pre-upgraded. I think I need a bit better than that currently. Is it a case of rest or die, or a case of upgrade a card? I think it's a case of rest or die. Only one potion, too, alright. Come on, Collector! Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna acrobatics in the hope that I find my beloved bullet time. If I don't acrobatics, I accuracy riddle with holes. Accuracy riddle with holes might be the far superior option. It's not terribly likely that I end up with uh, bullets time just from drawing three. The, the odds are way too low for that, so I think I will just riddle with holes accuracy. Do I want to upgrade my uh, my hand right now? Mm, no, not yet. I'm sure there'll be a time for that, but it's not now. Odds of me surviving this fight, not great, because the Collector puts a massive debuff on you, turn two. Uh, this is a good time for Choke Blade Dance. Hmm, I'm contemplating using my Blessing of the Forge. But I think I should wait for that when I have a massive draw going on. It does draw another uh, shiv, which is rather nice. But I'm already going to get four block off of an ornamental fan. Four against the 14 incoming. Do I want to set up any of these? Mm, no, I don't think so. But I don't like the fact that I'm going to be weakened after this either. Also set up an extra proc of choke, but oh well. Do I do it anyway? I mean, Dagger Throw could become free. That's a pretty good reason to do it. Alright, hit me with it. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Oh, right, that wasn't the debuff. When's the debuff attack? Where uh, the Collector yells, You are mine! And then I die. Oh, well, the dying might be coming sooner than expected. Uh, there's my Dagger Throw for a draw. Does an upgraded dagger throw draw more? Because I need more drawn right now, or else I'm very, very dead. It does not. Hmm, I think I'm just dead here. 12 and 12 and 26 incoming. No way to reduce that damage coming in, right? It's 24, 40, that's 50 damage against my... 40. A four defense, even defend, but defend plus would save me. Let's see what our draw is, huh? Hey, neutralize, save me at the eleventh hour. I'd love to get rid of the ascender's bane, but I might just have to. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to see you another time. I need to defend here. Get rid of bullet time. Uh, yeah, bullet time achieved nothing, didn't it? Yeah, should have gotten rid of bullet time. Oh well, what a mistake. Still need to neutralize you. Bouncing flask, whoever. And get my paltry defense going. Yeah, I just cost myself a card draw later on, but I'm not sure I'm going to live to see later on. Survivor, backflip, defend. Alright, what you got for me? Well, I can't survive anything right now. However, if I all out attack Blade Dance, I could eliminate one of you. And then I still die. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of need this. The blade dance now assures that I eliminate you, so I think I can survive her. Get rid of Curse of the Bell. Blade dance and shiv you out of existence. I'd love to see another day, but now it's time for you are mine. 
It's not going well. <laughs> Far from it. All right. Nine damage on your six for 15. I'm looking at killing the torch head here if I can. And then if I defend and neutralize, I'm not sure that's going to do it, though. I don't think I can survive this. Remember the po- yeah, I'm looking at the poison. you got six on, so you've essentially got 23 health. And I can deal... 19... 20, 21, 22 damage, leaving me one short. Yeah, I rather think it is over. There was an attempt. Ho oh, hum. Well, never claimed that uh, Shiv Lady was my best. And apparently I made it better than my previous run, which didn't even get to the first boss there. No, the power of the lurkers failed you. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with Slave's Fire. Always a good run until it's not. I don't think that run was particularly strong at any point, but I just don't know how to play Silent on A20. Alright, never mind the Silent. Who do we play as? The Iron Chad, the Crummy Robot, or the Blind Ascetic? Chad Robo Blindy. Time for Crummy Robot to. Pro we just did Crummy Robot last night, though. Mm. Yeah, Silent Starter Deck is god awful. But all characters have really fun and powerful plays that they can meld themselves into. Silent just really lacks upfront damage. It's the same problem with Defect. These two are both really weak characters starting out. We should eat our way through the tower with our Iron Chad. There's no guarantee we get Feast. But if it's time for Chad, it's time for Chad. Let's go. Apparently I at least beat, or at least got to the first boss last time we played as Chadite. Random boss, random rare. 100 gold or remove a card. That Bashful is striking. It's really nice for you. Five options to start with. Where's the spicy elite? If you go spicy elite, there's actually an option to roast four elites. Looks like suicide. But let's keep that in mind as a possibility. If that looks like it's not going to be playing out well for us, we could transition into just a single one or even chicken out. And then we could transition back into the spice zone or come out to somewhere else. I like this, it gives me options. Question is, what do we go for for Niao's bonus? Four elites, A20. It looks like death, says Andaris. No, it looks like excellent power to gain. Nice and fast. I think we'll go with random boss relic, you know? More power, more better. And it's, oh god. <laughs> I never even considered that it could be the Runic Dome. We may no longer see enemy intents. We are playing blind from start to finish. That's going to be a fast run for Iron Chad. Uh, Cultist never attacks on the first turn, which makes it all the sadder that I just got two strikes. Now you're going to hit me for six. So I'm going to bash, strike, defend, or defend, defend. Definitely at least one defend. I don't have burning blood anymore, so taking any damage is unacceptable. A little better just get the damage in while I can. And we are somewhat glad that we did. One damage to say goodbye to the cultist. I'll take that. Uh, ew, why do I bait her out on Whirlwind? Well, whether I do or I don't, I'm taking that. Is there a way to turn off beta art from here? 
progress save. Get me out of here. I, want I don't like having beta art on unless it's really, really funny, like Omniscience. Compendium. Card library. Where's that whirlwind? There we go. And there we go. It's a shame I didn't roll Whirlwind immediately. These two could be doing damn near anything. I will just kill you and block anything you're up to. I haven't won a single defect A11. Is that character even playable past 10? I got to Spire Spear and Shield with him, and that promptly came to an end. What are we doing here? Probably bash, double defend. Oh, but I'm already, already frail. Oh, that super sucks. Let's go with that. Now be gone. Would have saved myself some health if I double defended there. Get ourselves our first potion, a swift potion, and then we get... Yeah, not very good options. Twin Strike seems to be the best of a lot. Bloodletting is cool, but I've already got extra energy. I need draw. Twin Strike is serviceable damage. And it scales a little bit with strength. I don't want to take you, but you need attack cards on Act 1. Jawworm. A Jawworm that I don't know what he's up to. Very, very sad. Strike, 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 and defend. Take seven. Be very unhappy at taking seven. I'm hoping that he just buffs himself up now. He does just buff himself up and he is ready to die. Get out of here. Playing blind without burning blood. Oh, it's unfortunate. Colorless potion and... Sentinel is cool if we have corruption. We don't have corruption. I do not like sword boomerang. Anger, probably not a great idea since I already have four energy, so a free thing's just not that great anymore. Huh. These all suck. A lot. Lean deck time, not in Act 1. But these do all suck. Oh, I lost all my colouring on the map when I quit out. That's a shame. Let us remember the spicy root that we had for ourselves here. And then our chicken root, which was... Da -da 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 -da. Right, splitter guy, I have no idea what he does. I'm just going to assume he doesn't attack me turn one. He doesn't. He just licks me. Making me weak, which is not nice. So I think I'll just... Da -da 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 -da. I forgot about the split. Even though I mentioned that he's a splitting enemy. Uh, block, block. Twin strike, strike. Hmm. Now this guy doesn't want to attack me at all. I don't even have the wherewithal to take you down entirely. It's getting a bit sad. 10 damage. 10 very unwelcome damage. Hmm. Oh god, miscalculation. I didn't see him as having 7. That's 8 damage I could have avoided. Mounting up without the burning blood to get rid of it. Right. I quite like pummel. Give myself some pummel. Although I gotta say things look grim, let's just take the suicide path. It's not feeling like a good run, so it's all or nothing it. This is looking pretty nothing already. Abacus is pretty cool. Rampage is not. Exhaust all non attack cards. How about we just lean the deck down a little bit? And carry on. Me on the bone could have saved this run. Yeah, it would have been nice, but I couldn't afford it. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Is there a colorless potion that could save my bacon here? 
8 AoE, shuffle 3 random attacks into your draw pile that become free. Random attacks? Well, they could be brilliant attacks. Give me those awesome things. Sever soul, blood for blood, drop, kick hell, as long as they're free. Uh, do I defend, defend whirlwind, or do I just whirlwind? Or just whirlwind. I'll take the 10 in order to hopefully not take the 10 this turn. Ah, oh, 18's one shy on you. That sucks. This oh man sucks. Um, 10, 18, 16. So I guess it's going to be 10 and 16 on you. Yeah, that's okay. That won't exhaust blood for blood. I'll set you up to die next turn rather than damage you. The worst is ice cream. I love ice cream. Okay, then I guess I'm just removing you from the competition and then laying the smacketh downeth on you and you'll die next turn. Bump. Akabeko. Well... Not sure if that's going to be enough to carry me out of here, but Akabeka Whirlwind is something to be very happy with. Clash is trash. I might not hate blood for blood. A real blood for blood. It can turn into a free card, otherwise it's a very expensive and heavy card. Oh god, another one of you! <laughs> uh, well, there's another Whirlwind on sale. I'll take it, just to increase the odds of Akabeka Whirlwind turn one. My boss is the Guardian, so Evolve doesn't help much. Hey, it moved. I might even take Carnage. I'm just in dire need of output. Alright, Spicy Elite is the Gremlin Orb. At least we know what this guy does. And we get Bash turn 1. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Pummel is also really good with Akabeko. Love to see it. Glad I hesitated there for a moment. Thump, 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 thump. Bash, Twin Strike, with a good Whirlwind, he's already dead. With a good Whirlwind, he's already dead. Seven, 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 uh, bum. But maybe... Maybe we're okay! Whew! Whew, 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 whew. Scary stuff. Wow, we got the low chance potion. However, we also got the toy ornithopter. Whenever we use a potion, we heal. Finally, some sustenance. The emerald key is mine. I got to take liquid bronze over dexterity. Could be very useful for the guardian fight. Immolate. Get in here. Please be a relic that changes my game. Well, I will probably need to rest, and that's a whole lot extra HP for resting. That's assuming I survive. This is either going to be a rematch with the sentries, which uh, Whirlwind could save my bacon on, or it's, um, or it's Lagavulin, and I wouldn't like Lagavulin. It is the refight with the sentries. Oh, I'm stronger now. 13, 13, 13, 13. That's a good number. However, it doesn't kill the one that instantly hurts me. I don't think I have a way to kill you outright, and I certainly have no block whatsoever. What's that, 40? That's 52. Ah, but no, King Jeebus is correcting me. He says that it's uh, 62. Yeah, no, we're good. Get out of here. Glad to know it was 62 damage. Art of War. Not often that the Chad is not going to play attacks in a turn, but when I do, more energy for the next turn. I do like Disarm. I don't like the fact that it exhausts, but I do like Disarm. Come on. Lean deck building, right? Actually, we, we've got really good cards. We just had a stinky start, and I hate this Runic Dome. It's going to get me killed. It's probably a case of rest or die right now. Much as I'd love to fight yet another elite, I think I will rest or die. 
the Regal Pillow really bumps that up. I wouldn't have done that if I was fighting Hexaghost. You want low hit points with Hexaghost. Hmm, I don't have a lot of wherewithal for that. Let's just hope that we get a Whirlwind to immediately kill these three rats. We don't get a Whirlwind, but we do get Immolate! Goodbye! Odd Mushroom, when I am vulnerable, don't instantly die. Instead, only take 25% extra damage. I could go for a Pommel Strike. I desperately need some card to draw. Not upgraded though, but I'll take it. Events or fights? Events or fights? More potions or better potions? Because I need the healing. Well, they give me healing, but I like events. Give me the events. Oh, the wheel! The wheel can give you a card remove, a curse, a shanking, healing, a relic, or money. What do you think is going to happen, chat? My money is on a curse. Because it's the worst thing I could get right now. I'd sooner take a shanking over a curse. And it is a... Bundle of money! Ooh. That's one of my favorite kinds of money. Not bad either, that was about 100 gold. And there's a marginal chance we have a shop here to spend it on. No, it's just some thief who smelt all of my money. Thief attacks rather relentlessly. Could actually use my Swift Potion right now. I think I'd rather save that for the boss, though, so I'll defend, defend, disarm, strike. Not a bad opener, really. I could have saved the Akabeko, and in retrospect, I probably should have, but with this, he's already dead. Be gone. Get my money back. This is really cruel with Ectoplasm. He steals your gold and you can't even take it back. The Ectoplasm gobbles it up. Ooh, I gotta say Flame Barrier is looking very tempting. I have picked up a grand total of zero block cards so far. Which means my defense game is abhorrent. Let's try and improve it a little bit. And what's gonna help us out here? Against this guy, Disarm Plus is honestly quite tempting. Flame Barrier for more block. Mm, block is for when your enemies live a turn. Just hit them harder, Jake. Harder, you say? Pommel Plus Akabeko suddenly hitting for 10 damage 5 times? Straight up raw damage on Immolate. I do quite like the Disarm. However, Whirlwind, becoming Whirlwind Plus, I have two Whirlwinds, hmm. Blood for Blood gets cheaper and hits harder with an upgrade, which is quite tempting. Immolate will let you crack him for big damage, yeah, but it's going to add burns to me. Hmm. Mm hmm. Not an easy choice, really. Draw order is going to matter a huge amount for this fight. If he's at two damage until shield immolate, will let you over damage that. I think the whirlwind is the superior option here, even though it's just one of the two. All right, come at me. Now, how does this guy work again? I don't remember if he does any attacking on the first turn. Hmm. Akebeko makes my first strike deal eight additional damage. It would be amazing with Pommel or Whirlwind, but I have neither. I think I'm just going to bash Carnage him, which should immediately make him curl up. I'm gonna play my cards just yet, but yeah, bash carnage. Get that, um, get that Vuln going. Now he just gives himself some sharp hides. Now I think he attacks me for ten or so. I think this is just disarm, defend. Hmm. 
Not an amazing defend. No, worth pummeling him. Probably not. Probably better just to tough this one out a little bit. He has a sharp hide, he hits me back for four. Do I want my thorns operational though? I will take my thorns. He will hit you for four per pommel hit, that's a bad idea. And Darius, you are completely wrong! The sharp hide on the Guardian hits you four times when you play an attack. It is not four times per hit. If I pummel him, he only hits me back once. You are so wrong that I will show you how wrong you are. Hits me back once. Oh, Andy. Did I just lose my art of war by doing that? Right, now he springs out and hits me for 16, as I recall. Good opportunity to flame barrier, defend, and art of war for next turn. There we go. Now, what does he do? I think he hits me a few times. I, I honestly cannot remember. You think I know how to play this game? Hmm. Let's see what we draw. Ooh, carnage. Got that damage going on you. Do I whirlwind you, or do I not take as much damage as I'd otherwise take here? He might... I have no idea what he does here. I should get a mod that lets me understand all the enemy's actions for moments like this. I would never take Runic Dome. Never, ever would I take Runic Dome. Because I'm no good at sussing out enemy intent. For all I know, he's just going to laugh and go, Haha, destroy, destroy, destroy. But he's probably going to hit me anyway. Ah, oh, whatever. A good offense is a good offense. Mistakes were made. Also, he got to transform for free, which also sucks. Okay, well, them's the brakes. I want Voln on him, so I... Hmm, do I really want Voln on him? He's gonna pop out and hurt me anyway. I might just defend and enjoy some Art of War. Oh, bollocks, all he did was sharp hide. Now I think he hits me for a little bit. In that case... I can flame up my barrier. I think I'll give him some immolate just to get some damage going. And then he can come and have a go. And now he's going to spring out and hit me for 16. Flame barrier, help me out a bit more. Do I immolate? I really should just be doing some raw damage. It's probably worth it. Keep the Vuln going. What are we drawing next turn? Could get some good damage going, although if I let me take self take too much damage here, I'm gonna die, so let's just not have that happen. Glad I blocked. But maybe not, because you're already dead. Okay. First time I've ever made it through a chapter completely blind in this. Where does this beta art keep coming from? I must have accidentally turned a bunch of it on. Right. Vulnerable does not hurt me quite so badly anymore, so Berserk is almost free. Almost. It's still card draw. It's a little bit of Vulnerable. Reaper is going to keep me alive over the long... over the long haul, maybe, but I don't have strength gain to make it better. Brutality I don't like altogether. Runic Dome means Berserk is free of any danger. Pretty sure it's the other way around. I'm thinking the old, old Mushroom makes Berserk better. But I think I'll take the Reaper. Alright, where are we going with this? Sneko Eye. Make your expensive cards really good to have. Do I have expensive cards? Well, yes, I've got Reaper, Flame Barrier, Immolate, Carnage, Blood for Blood. Whirlwinds are unaffected by Sneko, and it's incredible draw power. Draw two extra cards every turn. 
I'll never be able to get Sneko and Runic, which is a shame, but I can live with that. Hmm. Sneko, we go go. The uh, the coffee dripper would have prevented me from resting, killing the regal pillow, and potentially killing me as well. All right, we did the suicide route and we came out alive. How much more suicide do we think we can handle? We were actually pretty good against AOE enemies, which is what two of the three elites are here. If I face Book of Stabbing, I have Disarm. I've also got some damn good money. So stopping in by the shop seems like a good idea. There's a mid... Oh, there's a late, mid, and early one. There's always between two and three, I believe, every chapter. Quite liking this route. I love my Act 2 events. That gets me an early-ish shop for a load of spending. Maybe get some nice exhaust stuff going. Gives me an upgrade before the Elite. An event. An event. I'll take this one more option. Maybe not. Uh, upgrade, event, upgrade. Collector rematch. Okay. Just one Elite, but like I said, I am not the world's biggest fan of fighting Elites in Act 2. Even though I am kind of doubting myself, aren't I? I think I'm actually pretty well set up for elites. Can we consider an alternative? Uh, maybe we should just color the alternative differently. Think differently. Think purple. What if I went... Yay... I still want that shop. Maybe I could take both the shops. I have quite a bit of money. And I could take you or go that way if things are looking grim. And then I can take you as well. Quite like it. Alright, Snacko, don't let me down. Zero cost bash. Zero cost eliminate. Zero cost twin strike. But the shelled parasite I think attacks every turn and my defend costs three. Guess I'm playing the one cost defend. There's also the swift pot if I really want to, or the weak pot. Akabeko is here, but I don't have multi hits. Which is a damn shame. Well, I guess I got twin strike. But I think it would be better to bash than twin strike. I'm actually not sure. Twin strikes normally five and five, with bash I think it's seven and seven or eight and eight. There's also the consideration that I'll take out more of his plated armor if I hit him second time with a twin strike. That might be the better way to think about it. And it is seven seven. Immolate you while we're at it. You know, if I got some good draws, I could just kill you now. I'm just gonna swift potion and see what we get. Well, there's Pommel, but... Pommel and Pommel, on the other hand? 3 damage 4 times for 12. 12 and 13 is one dead Parasite. Did not want to spend any time dealing with you. Especially when I don't have any health regeneration aside from my potions. Right. Entrench might sound awesome, but until you have a barricade or calipers, I really don't see it as worth having. True Grit's cool when you upgrade it. And I am desperately in need of blocks. I might actually take that and upgrade it at the nearest campfire. Yeah, go on then. The sooner I can lean my deck down, the happier I'll be. Do we get jaxed? Gain three strength. Do we get the mutagenic strength for extra strength on turn one when we have Akabeko? Or do we transform two crappy cards? I would transform two strikes. Special Relic's really cool, but I am in dire need of extra power here. So I actually think I'm going to transform two strikes. Yes. Double down on turn one. Don't get the zero cost snack, oh Jake. Eh. Oh, right, right. Don't get the jacks because it's zero cost. Transform two cards could be anything. Could be a bludgeon. Imagine it that was Sneko. Rather nice. Could be something useful like a Dark Embrace. Although we don't exhaust much, do we? We exhaust Pommel. 
uh, disarm exhausts, true grit exhausts, reaper exhausts. Oh yeah, of course we've got reaper for healing ourselves, don't we? Imagine reaper with the strength in Akabeko, but I'm still going to transform too. Goodbye, strike, and other strike. Ooh, demon form with Sneko Eye! Combust is whatever, but demon form Sneko Eye. Mmm. Yeah, I can get behind that. Demon form is one of those cards that you often lose by picking up because it's so heavy at three cost. You burn a whole turn playing it, but with Sneko, it is almost certainly going to be cheaper. All right. With that, do I feel like another fight? I need potions to heal up. And I can eat my enemies to heal up, but I love Act 2 events. Like getting Writhe, an innate unplayable curse. Probably not good to make my turn 1 worse. But I can get rid of Writhe at the shop. Let's get a relic. Bag of Marbles vulnerable on all enemies on turn 1. You know what else we got in turn one? Massive damage. You take it and cough violently. That's okay. The enemies will be coughing up blood. Come on, whirlwind. Ah, it's not whirlwind. Maybe it could have been whirlwind if I didn't have a writhe. Right, no idea what they're doing. They could be hurting me badly, they could be not. You know, I am sorely tempted to just combust True Grit. That way I keep my... Uh, my Akebeko for the potential Whirlwind. Ye Maybe I should defend True Grit instead of combust. Kind of a shame, because they're all vulnerable right now. Imagine what this Reaper would do. It would heal me and hurt them a lot. I could always Reaper True Grit. Strike, strike. Or Reaper True Grit Defend. Because they, they could hurt me for as low as zero or as much as 18 right now. And if I Reaper, at least I get some of that healed back right now. But it also uses up my Akebeko. But if I Whirlwind, I knock them down anyway, so I will Reaper. Yoink. And then I'm going to... See, so that just does four and four, which is very sad. And again, I don't know which one's trying to attack me. Well, I get rid of that option. Let's try and even it out a bit for the Whirlwind. All right, well, it's six. Buffing and buffing. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for better. Because now they are extremely dead. Get down on the ground where you belong and burn. All right, easy peasy. I love uppercut. I love uppercut even more when it's upgraded. Extremely tantalizingly tempting card. And it's uh, two cost, making it all the better to have with Sneko Deco. Come over here. Let's make our way into the store. We are bursting with change from our pockets. I don't think much of the cards on offer here. They're not upgraded. It's the Combust that's on sale. I like Shrug It Off, but I'd rather it were upgraded. They're also quite low cost. There is Prismatic. But I don't think I want to put the entire run in the hands of Prismatic. Definitely want to get rid of that ride, though. That ride's got to go. Do I take the Prismatic or not? The thing is, what does my deck really lean into? Leans into doing quite a bit of damage as early as I can. Prismatic is must No, no, I don't think so. Not for this run. What would Prismatic really do? It would dilute my card pool rewards massively. You'll only roll good things like Vault. Yeah, you make a compelling argument, actually, for getting some high-cost other characters' cards. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it for the fans. 
I'm not having any of that stuff, but I will want to hit up his later shop, so I'm going to be taking this route. Oh, but there's a shop here as well. Hmm. Is there a super later shop? Yeah, but I'm, there's no way of reaching it now. Hmm. Oh well. What can a man do? Well, he can upgrade, that's for sure. Upgrade the demon form, get absurd strength, or upgrade the uppercut. Get longer lasting weakened Voln. Nah, no, it's gotta be demon form. It's the only way you can get Meteor Strike. Yeah, Meteor Strike, which I can't play with my four energy. Oh, but of course it could roll. Well, it will roll, roll lower. Sneko randomizes it between zero and three. Meteor Strike would be amazing. Uh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Okay, I think we'll take. We'll take an Elite? Mystery Elite or Elite Mystery? Depends if I think I want that shop or not. Ugh, there'll be money. I could do another card remover, get another awesome thing. Let's let's go for that shop. Mm, he's having second thoughts now. But the later shop is unattainable. Maybe just save my dough? Because the, the shop doesn't have the other character's cards. If I take this way, at least I can get some card rewards, which is what I kind of need right now. Let's go. So, vulnerable on turn one with an Akobeko Pummel. That is delicious. This guy always attacks, though. I can bash to prolong the vulnerable as well. Blood for Blood's looking kind of cheap. Disarm is a, a given here. I could also make you weak if I want, but I have full health, so I shouldn't. Anyway, this is tremendous damage, so absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah, I should absolutely disarm you. Don't want to take your damage, though, but uh, what can a man do? I think I'll have to bash blood for blood here. Just go for the relatively quick kill. Yeah, I get orb slots, and I can also take the other forms. Okay, can we just kill you now? Probably not with stuff like this, but I want to carnage you for 30. Carnage, uppercut, flame barrier... Yes. Do I want to combust? I don't really want to lose that health, but... Well, no buts. I mean, you are dead next turn, right? There's no, there's no draw here that doesn't kill you. I guess strike, strike, defend, defend, Ascender's Bane will not kill you unless I combust, so let's just have that as an insurance policy. Oh, well... Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about the, the burning thing. It doesn't matter. You're already dead. The Maw Bank. Well, now, if I wait a long time before the shop and I've just dedicated myself to doing that, we're going to end up with a healthy amount of extra money. So give me that. Give me that elixir. It's healing, if nothing else. Give me the money. And our card. We can now find any kind of card, except for the special event ones. I think even colorless cards. Exhume. Hmm. Unload. It discards. Channel of Frost. Uh, no. Exhume. Do I have exhaust cards that I want back? Yes, I do, actually. I'd like to be able to Reaper again in the future. I'd like to be able to multi-disarm. It's unfortunate that you're such a cheap card, but give me that Exhume. Spare some co Ooh, yeah, yeah, get on with the, the removes, get rid of another crappy strike, if you please. I've got this money, gotta spend it. You could say, why not get rid of defense, Jake? Mm, I still feel really short on defense, I like to have it around as an option. Treasure event fight, or treasure event fight? Let's take the left route. Alright, it's just a small relic, but small doesn't mean bad. Whoa, that's amazing! The Bag of Preparation gives you two additional cards on your first draw. As we know, the first is the most important draw. 
Our enemies are vulnerable on turn one, and we have Akebeko. There is no way I would take the key over the bag of preparation. Yoink. Would you look at that? It's another treasure chest. And this one's Meacham Relic. Frozen Egg. All powers that we now get will be pre-upgraded. Bit of a shame that we already got two powers, but that means if we find a Dark Embrace or a Feel No Pain, it'll already be upgraded. Yes, please. Barricade, another good one. Okay, not a great draw. Nothing is zero cost. Lots of things are three cost. I think this guy hits me for 20-something. <sighs> you gotta get through days like this. I might save the Akebeko. Time for potion. Yeah, actually making you weak right now is very tempting just to keep me through this. Exhausting has no synergy for me right now. But I think I might make you weak right now, get the healing off the potion as well. And then, honestly, I would like to Flame Barrier and Disarm, but I can't do both. I guess it's Flame Barrier Defend. Very sad opening. But Sneko still allows me to draw extra, so I can live with this to a degree. I kinda want ice cream with this. Oh, you didn't attack! Oh, well, boy, do I feel like a fool! 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, but you're not vulnerable. But Immolate might finish the job. That's uh, 60 damage, 70, 81 damage! But hang on, is this taking into account Akebeko? I, I don't think so, I think Immolate is 21 base, so why it doesn't show up, I don't know. Oh, but he has the Malleable, of course. Yeah, yeah, hmm. That is something of a problem. Upon receiving damage against three block... Whirlwind will still do immense damage, but it's going to cost me all of my energy. Also, I'm weakened. Hmm. Yeah, that weekend came, comes at a bad time. Oh, let's just get the damage dealt. Yeah, look at that. No point even playing the Immolate. Ah, I see. Akabeko was applied, but then weakness was. Uh huh. Oh, well, the more you know. Hit me. Okay, I've been hit for worse. That said, I really can't afford to have you live any longer. Don't like being weakened, though. Ooh, really don't like being weakened. I don't think I can kill you here. Even if I bash Pommel, Pommel will probably be two times four for only eight. Hmm, well that is really bad. It might just be Demon Form Defend then. I hate to be doing that. Oh god, for only three block? I'd rather bash you so I can secure the kill next turn. This is getting painful, lad. Alright, please just leave. However, uh, I was trying to think of a way to draw my beloved um, Reaper to kill you with, at least get some health back. Might actually be worth doing. If I Flame Barrier defeat Defend. I'm going to block for a reasonable-ish amount, and then I might be able to Reaper a lot more health back. Then again, you're going to be hurt from the damage you take back. It could actually end up hurting me more, especially if I don't draw Reaper. Probably better just to score the kill if that's the case, as sad as that may be. Because I think this guy hits for 21 after a wee while. And then blocking for... Yeah, that, that's not enough. Just get out of here. Womph. Might debuff you instead of attacking. Might, but we wouldn't know. Uh, I don't like any of this. Scrying is kind of cool, but zero cost cards with Sneko, not cool.
Okay. That's some pretty good damage on the Chosen with the Pummel. I don't think either of you attack on this first turn, so maybe I Demon Form... I could straight up kill you, couldn't I? Well, not quite. Could exhume Pommel. Yeah, but it wouldn't get that massive boost from Akabeko a second time. Would be better to exhume something zero cost, which I of course don't have. Could also hold out for Art of War Whirlwind next turn. They won't be vulnerable though. Lethal on bird, though. Yeah, 60 on the bird. Kills it dead, and then I just have to deal with this thing. But this thing can hit you really hard. At least I know what this guy does. Might demon form pummel you. I don't think you're going to attack, so maybe I just flame barrier. Anyway, I certainly want my demon form up. Yeah, get that pummel in. <laughs> Exhume the pummel. Nah, just flame barrier. Yeah, and he's not wrong. I do need the health. And Reaper is not here. And I don't think I want to leave the Chosen alive. I think I'm just going to Carnage Blood for Blood to remove it. I don't know if it attacks this turn or not, or if it does Hex on this turn. Truly, I don't know. But I think it's Carnage, Blood for Blood, Defend. Because at least I know what this guy does. You're all... Oh, I am already hexed. Well, how about that? Well, I can 7 block to full block you and get rid of one of these cards. Hopefully not the Whirlwind. Not the Whirlwind. And then just smack you a little bit. And then get ready to reap you to death. Alright, so uh, Reaper is actually going to drink a fair bit for me. I could wait a while and do another round of this, but I will not. I'll just take my healing whilst I can. Glug, glug, get out of here. Uh, garbage. Upgrade and upgrade? What am I looking to upgrade anyway? I already did demon form. Reaper Plus is barely an upgrade. True Grit upgrade and Disarm upgrade really speak to me. So does Uppercut. Probably Uppercut True Grit. Yeah. The Collector's gonna maim me. I dunno. I dunno Collector's patterns. Maybe I should take the card reward rather than the mystery. I like mystery, but I need uh, need cards. Oh boy, I have no idea what these two are going to be up to. Not a Scooby snack. Could I kill them very, very quickly? I've got a whirlwind straight away. 13 times 4. But other than that, we don't have anything else. It does kill the Mystic immediately, but then Centurion just goes on a Rampage, which could work to my not-necessarily advantage. But you'll probably be very easy to kill following that. Yeah, there's a strong argument for Reapering my health back, but this is a kind of fight that could very easily go very badly. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, wow! How did that do much more damage than I thought? I can just kill you! Yeah, get out of here. Did I just severely miscalculate the numbers there? What was that? I thought it was 13 times 4. 40, 50... Ah, uh, it wasn't taking into account vulnerable. Uh -huh. Oh, fairy in a bottle could save me through the collector fight. Ah... Uh. This is looking really bad. <laughs> really quite bad. I might take the shrug it off. Yeah. 
I need some better options. And I want to upgrade my true grip. More block and non-random exhaust. Yeah, Lavash, almost like I knew what I was talking about, about not taking the prismatic. Ah, Demon form got drawn in turn one, which is good. It got drawn full price, which is bad. However, I'm still going to do it. I'm going to disarm you. And then, whilst I would love to keep Carnage around, I'm going to hold out on an Akabeka Whirlwind. Plus. To hopefully remove you and your little stinky friends. I think I'll actually do the Combust already. Keeps Art of War nice and shiny. Carnage is going to disappear. I guess that's okay. There's my Whirlwind Plus. Holy macaroni, now that's something. Yeah, that just it removes you. I don't know what the Collector's doing, but to hell with a Collector. Eat this. Stopping just in case there's something I'm missing here. Nah, I wouldn't miss anything. Ba -ba 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 -ba. One third of the Collector is dead. Do I want to draw for the hell of it? Could be anything, and I could probably do with a block as well. It was not an attack. Might be a summoning, might be attacking. God knows. Well, let's keep you weak, so absolutely uppercut immolate. The vulnerable is very welcome here. I think I should get some block just in case. The exhaust is quite nice as well. Let's get rid of Twin Strike. Pummel will exhaust itself if I eventually play it. Ah, good. Summoning. Kind of. Kind of good. Uh, Immolate's getting stronger and stronger, courtesy of our early demon form. I can actually Immolate Reaper, but not, that, not in that order, and feel very good about it. That's uh, a full heal. And they're dead. Oh, that feels good. The hell out of here. The hell out of here! Now, what say you? You're probably going to attack me, and to that I just punch you in the face. Yeah, let's keep that Voln and Weak going on you. And I'm going to continue the Relentless Attack. And there's my defense option. Come and have a freaking go, Collector. Oh, I'm your. Oh, I'm all yours, baby. Come and have a taste. Easiest fight of my life. Entropotic Brew! How I love Entropotic Brew, but I'm gonna have to say no because. I mean, it could be anything. It could even be an elixir. No, Entropotic's gonna have to wait. Hyper Beam. Lose three focus when you don't care about focus. Very, very tempting. Upgrades massively. Tools of the trade. At the start of your turn, draw a card, discard a card. Also very nice. But at zero cost. And I'd rather get heavier cards, so Hyper Beam it is. Maw Bank is generating loads of money for me. Can't wait to reach a shop. Well now. Wellity well now. Cursed Key gives me power every turn, but whenever I open a non-boss chest I get a curse. That is not something we can afford right now. Sozu gives me extra power, however we may no longer obtain potions. Not good considering I have Toy Ornithopter to heal me. I want potions, although I only have two. That makes Philosopher's Stone the obvious pick. All enemies start combat with plus one strength. That's really bad with a heart, because he's going to hit a lot harder on his multi-hit phase. But we're past the birds, so I guess I'm just taking the Philosopher's Stone. Now we have five energy. Pretty good. Could be six if I roll Art of War. Feeling good? Still need to surrender a relic from a chest in order to get a key, and I need to sacrifice a rest for a key. 
really want to hit up a merchant with this amount of money. Do I do an early one? And or a late one? I could do both. This is actually kind of cool. It gives me options. I can roll right into an elite if I feel really strong. I can rest if I need to rest. I hit you. I have to do an elite to get here. How do I feel about fights versus question marks? Oh, right, but I could ignore that and do this with the very early shop. Kills my maw bank dead. Kills one, two, three, four, five, six opportunities to get 12 extra gold. But with this amount of money, I'd really rather get spending it. Card rewards are probably good with my Prismatic Shard, though it could be a good idea to take that route instead. Much as I love the mystery rooms, and I do love the mystery rooms. Yeah, that's a four elite path. Could kill us, but it might not. Let's go. Alright, Repulsors and Spiker. Maybe they attack, maybe they do not. Maybe... Maybe I just kill you. And I can't kill you like that, sadly. Now this is a spike that does hit every time it takes damage from an attack card. Hmm. Tricky dicky. What I could actually do is carnage you right now, take the damage, and then hold out for demon form and use my Reaper to reap all the health back. I just wish Carnage was going to truly kill you. This makes me take an unforgivable amount of damage and I don't have good block against that. Defend first? Yeah... I do have a free defend, that much is true. Hell, I can even defend, shrug it off, smack you for one big one. Shrug it off might even draw something awesome. Trigret's not awesome enough. Certainly get my defense while the going is good, though. Hmm. These guys could potentially attack me, though. Maybe I just tr bring you guys down. Because I could just pummel you to death. I could pummel any of them to death. But yeah, pummel you, carnage you... Yeah, I think I'll just uh, stare down the spiker, but what, how do I take out the spiker in the long term? Oh man, hyper beam is an answer to everything, isn't it? Carnage Whirlwind isn't bad. Yeah, you're right, I could carnage you. Whirlwind would kill them. And I'd only take one damage. Pretty good. Could I gain anything else? I haven't exhausted anything. Just trying to think of a way to avoid, uh, just to block that little bit of damage. But if I true grit, then nah, just just eat it. One whole damage for that fight. I can eat it. Ah, uh, nothing but ass. <laughs> Where are the high cost cards? Maybe, well, you're only going to have my cards, but oh well. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. In Flame Plus, do I have anything that helps with powers? Apart from the frozen egg. In Flame Plus becomes a good bit weaker now that I have demon form. There's another uppercut. Dolly's Mirror. What about multi-demon form? Or multi-hyper beam? I wouldn't want a multi-hyper beam that's not upgraded, though. But multi-demon form? Hmm, whenever you apply vulnerable, apply weak. We do apply vulnerable, thanks to Bag of Marbles. Don't want to spend all of my money on that, though. Apotheosis is a must. I disagree. I could dolly the demon form and card remove. 
I could tell Twin Strike that its time here is numbered, but I'd rather get rid of Regular Strike. Yeah, I think I'll Dolly Demon Form and remove. Mm. Yeah, go on then. Basically turn that strike into a Demon Form Plus. With Sneko, I'm very happy with that. Uppercut, tempting, but no. Let's try and keep this a somewhat lean deck at 25 cards. Anything added now has to really be worth its time. This guy. I would love to just take you out in one go. Hey, Hyper Beam's free! Nineteen times five with a free hyper beam. Yeah, be gone. Let's at least see it in action, shall we? Ooh, Dark Shackles plus fifteen strength down on the enemy on this turn. Sorely tempting, really bad with Sneko. You don't want to pay for this. But this can bail you out of a horrible fight. Time Eater is my enemy. Plus one other one. Yeah, sorry, it's gotta be a skip. I need big, chunky, expensive cards. Oh, come on, Hyper Beam or Whirlwind or something. Oh, hello, Whirlwind. Um, goodbye. If I could just bottle that Whirlwind plus my days. Again! <laughs> we're, not, we're not looking good in the cards here. Oh, is that Whirlwind again? Uh, not happening this time. Demon form is full price. Don't want to explode or exploding. Oh, also there's a spiker. Right, that's not free then. I don't want to waste my Akabeko, I might just block. I might even Flame Barrier, Defend, Defend, Disarm, Demon Form, and just wait for next turn. Yes. There's every opportunity for the Spiker to cause me some grief. So... I'll just do that in case it feels like attacking me like a nerd. Yeah, tempting as it is to play this, let's hold out for Akabeko. This could become a very unpleasant fight for me. Hey, there's Hyper Beam. Pretty sweet if I can block something. I can block a little, and I can always Reaper to get some of this back. You're gonna die. Reaper's not gonna give me much back, though. That's part of the problem. Because you'll be dead. I won't be able to reap you, and you don't reap block damage either. Mm, it's not ideal, but here you go. Bomp. This guy hurts a lot. It keeps thumping you for heavy damage, and I don't have much of an answer to that. I think I'll just start blood for blooding him and just doing general damage. Actually, 21, 11, 7. That's 32. I can heal a little bit by doing that, but that's not great. I certainly don't want to whirl... Oh, actually, whirlwinding might be better for me. Uh, hmm. I'm contemplating reapering, then whirlwinding. I know I get hit by the spikes, but... The problem is you're still going to hurt me here. Probably quite badly. And that Reaper's not coming back. Let's just do it. Boom. 
Do I finish you off here and now? Yeah. And now you're gonna hurt me. Ah. However, welcome Exhume. Welcome Demon Form. Okay, well the Demon Form doesn't do anything, but I tell you what Exhume does. Gets me back my Reaper. Get out of here. Give me my health back. Liquid Memories. Possibly better than Elixir, because I don't have any kind of a um, discard synergy. Get out of here. Gain four strength and four dexterity, but you gain one less energy at the start of each turn. Dangerous card, but that's some good strength and dexterity. Especially with Sneko. Hmm. That energy hit could really hurt, but four strength and four dex is delicious. You don't have good defense, though. You're not wrong about that. And I might really need the extra energy, but currently I tend to have too much energy. The strength is nice. Oh, I got demon form. Yeah, skip. Let's keep it lean. All right, Reptomancer, terrifying fight. The swords always strike. Yeah, never know what Repto is up to, though. I can immediately whirlwind my problems away. Whirlwind plus my problems away, no less. Let's see if we get another option first for the old Shrugabug. Oh, it's Reaper. Oh man, I'd love to reap my problems away. I might do both. Reaper for the really nice healing. And then Whirlwind will still get rid of the swords and deal damage to Repto. That is a good option straight away. Yeah, I like it. Defend for the hell of it. And summoning minions. There's my demon form. I want to uppercut you. I can carnage you. And I should be able to block enough of that away. Yes. Choose the card to exhaust. At least you're weakened here, but this is still not ideal. Blood for blood just doesn't do the damage I'm looking for. In fact, I'll just get rid of blood for blood here. Yep. Holy smokes, that dagger hit me really hard. Scarily hard. Kind of tempting to exhume my Reaper just to claw something back here. Hyper Beam is sadly very expensive. But I might Hyper Beam you away. I, uh, are you going to summon or not? If you attack me, that's bad news for me. Immolate will take care of you. I might actually exhume my Reaper, reap immediately, and then immolate and hope that you summon. That's two and two and that, but that kills you off, that's fine-ish. Get some much needed healing going. Please summon, please don't hit me. Thank God for that. Okay, now I really need to kill you. And would you look at that, there's a free uppercut for me, and free whirlwind for you. Bye bye Repto, you were the stuff of my nightmares, now you're dead. And I came out with more health than I came in, I believe. Mercury Hourglass hits all that enemies for 3 damage every turn, including the very first turn. Regen Potion, nope. Even more nope, although Foresight is very tempting. Scrying 4 as the Iron Chad. Could be a great way to scroll my way to better things. Ye yes, I will take that. That was a hard choice, but yes. I'm going to take on more elites because I'm feeling almost cocky right now. Hyper Beam upgrade tempting. 
other whirlwind upgrade tempting. Exume being free changes nothing. So I guess I should recall here. No, 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 Jake, you need the thing for the heart. What thing? I know I need this key, but I'm getting that here. I think I'm going to recall now. I'm in a relatively good place to do so. Alright. Head. I do not know what head does. But it's probably not good. I need to hit you really freakishly hard. I think you really start hitting hard after it does its countdown. And I think it attacks every turn. This could be very difficult for me. Let's see what extra card we can draw first. Oh, hello, Demon Form turn one for free. That makes Whirlwind. It's not plus, but I think I'll still Whirlwind. Doesn't leave me with great other options, but yeah, let's just start dealing that damage. Good enough to eat. Yeah, I know about the head snail debuff. Oh, the head hits small or debuffs for four turns. I think it's only three on A20. Oh, Foresight was free. Excellent. Definitely want to bash you, keep you vulnerable. Followed up with an uppercut to keep you weak, Vuln. Get the carnage so it doesn't go away. And... Defend whilst getting rid of the other defend. Probably should have done the defend, getting rid of the defends uh, earlier, so we could have the snail stuff going. This doesn't show the actual price of them, but I don't care about disarm. Maybe I'll get rid of pummel as well. Hmm. Certainly nothing I want to exhume right now. This is a sordid turn. Demon form whirlwind, probably. Is that about to attack me heavily? I don't know what turn we're on. Did it say, why are you here, or did it count? Or rather, what did it count to? Was it two or one? I think I best just demon form whirlwind plus here right now. Twin Strikes is actually better than another turn of Whirlwind, plus it makes Whirlwind better. I could exhume just to make slow a bit better, but no thank you. Okay, now it's going to start hitting me really hard, and weakness is worn off. Don't give me exhume, I'd consider Flame Barrier, I'd consider Hyper Beam, wouldn't consider Twin Strike. Well, there's my Hyper Beam. Bash, Uppercut, Carnage. Ooh, not a lot of blocking going on. This is going to hurt. Uh, I need Flame Barrier to not horrifically die here. But then I can't Uppercut and Carnage. That Uppercut's weakness is very important here. I guess I'm going to be saying goodbye to Carnage then. Which is a shame. Carnage is good damage. Hmm... This is a big threat to my damage output right here. Or I could just tank the hit and hope that I get the health back later. I need to finish this fight sooner rather than later, after all. I guess so. What does the most damage, anyway? Yeah, these two. Alright then, it's going to be Bash, Uppercut, Carnage, Hyper Beam. 57 damage versus getting some block. Nah, it's going to be dealing the damage. Get out of here. Focus down, we don't really care. Could I kill you right now with liquid memories? I don't know. Liquid memories hyper beam might not do it. Did anyone keep track of how much damage hyper beam just did there? I think it's worth a shot. If nothing else, this will heal me. Come back to me, Hyper Beam. Seven. Oh, brilliant! 
Otherwise, he was about to hit me very hard. And amazing. It's a little late, but now we get more card rewards. This tells me I want fights. Lots of fights. Love that prayer wheel. Doesn't affect this fight. Lose focus, gain strength and dexterity. Ah, that's almost tempting, but we already have demon form. The dexterity is kind of nice, though. Disarm is also quite nice. I could go for another one. Really brutalize the heart with disarms. But the, the, the heart does cleanse its own um, debuffs. Which kind of hurts. They're also low-cost cards. I kind of need to cycle better. If I'm going to take a low-cost card, I'd rather take one that exhausts. Come to me, disarm. Now, no matter how good this relic is, we can't have it. Oh, and it's really freaking good. <laughs> Pen nib, double damage every tenth attack. And that pours over from one fight to the next. Ah, got to take the key, though. Okay. Our third elite. It won't be Giant Head, but it could be Reptomancer or Nemesis. It is Nemesis. Every other turn, he becomes Ethereal, and I cannot hit him. Not the first turn, though. Problem with Nemesis is that he hurts so badly. He hits like a truck. So what am I to do? Well, I, I did get Pummel turn one, but it's a, a heavy Pummel. It costs three to play. It's easy. Just kill him. Why didn't I think of that? I think it might be Defend, Flame Barrier, Disarm. I mean, that is only 60-odd damage. Yeah, it could be a 45 attack straight away. We don't know. And I don't have my demon form up immediately. Or my other demon form. <clears throat> if I just went full-on attack, what are we looking at? We're looking at 60... you and you. I could Reaper as well. The Reaper is a free to- yeah, I think I'll say to hell with block, we just go all out attack. He's vulnerable after all. So, pummel him down. Hyper beam him down. Blah! Reaper him for not much. Get the tiny little bit of defend going and pray that he doesn't attack us. He does not attack! Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't waste all my power defending. Those burns will clog up my deck. But only if I let them. I could actually get my Reaper back. Foresight is free. He's almost certainly going to attack me. All the better to uppercut him to keep him weak with. Uppercut, defend, defend. Yeah, I can get behind that. It only deals one damage, but I'm not doing it for the damage. I'm doing it for the Vuln and the weak. Come and have a go. Ah-ha-ha-ha! Pretty low fight there. Immolate, Demon Form, True Grit, Disarm. We're not at the point of wanting Disarm. We might not even be at the point of wanting True Grit. I need this guy dead. I don't even want Demon Form. I need attacks. Do I even have attacks? Can I check my draw pile? What's my draw pile? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I need... Um, oof, Whirlwind Plus. Twin Strike, Blood for Blood, Immolate. Yeah, I'm getting rid of all of these and hoping to kill him this turn. Well, demon form... Wait, I thought I got rid of... Oh, there was another demon form, of course. Uh, well, there's my whirlwind, there's my immolate, and there's a very dead-looking nemesis. 12, 12, 12, 12. And 12. Goodbye. Good fight, good night. Would have sucked to miscalculate that, that's why I hesitated. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, which does happen... Five damage all enemies. Not terrible. Replacement um, potion, which is very nice. And... Hey, where's my extra card? Oh, it's only normal uh, normal fights. Well, you know, Riddle with Holes doesn't look too bad. It's not upgraded. But it scales really, really well with strength gain, so get in here. Mm, Jawworm is a worm no more. You are the outright maw. I could demon form very quickly early on. In fact, demon form, demon form, disarm, defend. Yeah, I want to uppercut you to weaken you. 
But it might be better to hold on to Akabeko. Well, no doubt to my demon form, demon form disarming. But what do, we, what do we do with the rest? I can shrug defend. Uh, it feels like a waste using the uppercut, but with all the demon forms in play, it's probably better to focus on defense. And uppercut is a defense card. Oh, okay, you didn't even attack. Wonderful. And Riddle with Holes is suddenly a lot of damage, and it's only going to become more. Foresight is once again completely free. Well, that is nice. And Riddle with Holes is free as well. Alright, well, sure. Disarm, Flame Barrier, Defend Whirlwind. What the heck? What did he even hit me for? <laughs> okay, uh, we should go for the kill if we can here. No idea what you're doing. Is there a hotkey to check my exhausted cards? I bet it's both the disarms, actually. Might make you not too terrible to bring in, though, if I could weaken you further. Ooh, rough. Rough. I don't think you're dying this turn. Bash, Immolate, Hyper Beam. Oh, but Pummel. Ooh, well, yeah, Pummel's looking really good. Then Bash, Pummel, Immolate. I should really disarm you, actually. Just to act as a block card right now. In that case, it's Exhume, Bash, Pummel, no Immolation. I wonder if this comes back at its zero cost. Yeah, nice. Stay weak for me. Yeah, Pommel's a hundred times better here. Ha 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 ha! Excellent time for him to buff up. No, 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 no. We've got to kill. Oh, well, there's my kill. There's my Reaper! Mm, Jings. Uh, can I kill you even if I Reaper you? 29, 29, 29. Yes. Glug, glug, glug. And goodbye. Wow, man, I should have more faith in my runic, uh, runic dome pl uh, play. Now I do get two cards. Let's hope for Meteor Strike. It's not Meteor Strike. Well Laid Plans is awesome, though. Shockwave is awesome. Yes, Shockwave. Barricade! We don't have much of a block engine, but maybe, just maybe, we could assemble one at the final hour. Gotta hit up the shop. Dark Embrace, feel no pain, something. Dark Embrace on sale, upgraded thanks to Frozen Eye. I don't have a lot of exhaust, but I have enough. Get in here. Toolbox. A random colorless card into your hand at the very start. Hmm. I don't think so. But it could be a high cost. Oh, well, it's added. So it could come in at zero cost. Hmm. Or I could do a simple remove. Last time we're going to see a shop before Act 4, if we make it to Act 4. So I've got to spend the money. Strawberry, toolbox, or. No, it's strawberry or toolbox. Save for the Act 4 shop? No, never save. Always focus on your immediate needs. And our immediate need is to defeat Time Eater. And then, either the Guardian or the Collect... Wait, what? No, it's Time Eater, then either the Awakened One or Donudeka. Raise max HP by 7, huh? We haven't had any feeding. I quite like the toolbox, though, because that gives me a full 10 cards to start with. I'm going to take the toolbox. Now, much as I would like to take on another Elite, I'm going to take these two because of the Prayer Wheel. It gives me double the card rewards. If I can find Meteor Strike or get a damn good block engine going towards the end here, 
That'd make all the difference. Turn one, Akebek at Whirlwind Plus. Do I have any exhaust synergy right now? I don't think I do. I have secret technique, though. What kind of skill could I even pull out? I did, sadly, upgrade my hand a little too much. Deal three damage and draw a card. Uh, that's not what I want. I'm not sure I want any of these. Mm -hmm. If I were to draw out a skill, what would I even want? Shockwave, I guess. Yeah, Shockwave to lower incoming damage if this goes really badly. But it won't. It really, really won't. Strength Potion. Very tempting, but I'd rather have Liquid Bronze for the heart fight. I don't really want these, although... Although... Retainable block... To a two cost? That actually could be bad for me, but it could be good. I think I'll take Protect. Take it more than Infinity Blades. The shivs will be free, as long as I spend them, but that could work against me. It's also kind of a dead draw. Before we click Protect, what are our other options? It's not Meteor Strike. Evolve Plus, huh? I will take that Body Slam, just in case we get a block engine going at the 11th hour. Because we do have Barricade. Ooh, Transient! Madness. Had a random colorless card. But you are a random colorless card. Hmm. I'll take Master of Strategy. More draw, more better, right? I want my Demon Form. I really need to scale up here. Demon Form, Uppercut, Whirlwind. I'm not going for the kill here. I don't have that achievement, but I'm not going for it now. Definitely Demon Form. Combust is almost tempting, just to keep you down a notch. Disarm wouldn't be enough. There's gotta be that uppercut. Too weak, too vuln. Guess I'll master strategy, see what my extra cards are. It's good to get the Ascender's Bane out of the way. It's kind of bad to see Whirlwind again. I forget how much transient hits for each turn. Is it 40, 50, 60, 70, 80? I thought it went up to 90. Hmm. Well, I don't have Art of War going, so that's actually the question. So it's more about thinking what I can prepare. 12, 12. I think I should disarm you. That, that actually does a little bit of preparing as opposed to anything else. Didn't get a view on how much damage it does there, though. Ooh, second Demon Form and Barricade and Riddle with Holes. Finally, Foresight isn't free. That's going to take care of pretty much everything you do, but I'm going to Demon Form, Barricade, Riddle with Holes here, I reckon. Oh, but then I still have a little bit left over for Foresight. Cool. Could Foresight, or I could Twin Strike to take absolutely nothing. I want the Foresight, I want some setup going here. One cost protect can help later on, yeah, I don't want to play it now. I just don't know how much damage this guy. I think he's going to hit me for one here. I hope he hits me for one. Okay. Oh, yeah, he was weakened, of course, wasn't he? Right. Hmm. I should probably keep the Bash. Should probably keep the flame barrier. But I don't really want... Oh god, now I forget what counts as selected and not. Right, don't give me... Oh god, I can't remember what counts as you will get it and you will not. I think if I click on them, they go away. I'll take flame barrier and bash though, because a good chance to get them, uh, get them down. You need no block. Read the bottom text. Choose any to discard. 
Maybe we'll get rid of Flame Barrier then, just go full on attack. The Bash will scale better. Oh, hello Reaper! A little too late to the party though. Exhume is free, and I can use that free Exhume to draw. What am I looking at here? Man, that Shockwave is tempting, but it is high cost. Too high for words. But I could... Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't leave me with a lot. I might actually end up using that Protect here. I'm thinking Shockwave, Carnage, Exhume Master of Strategy. Actually, you're already uh, vulnerable, so I should Carnage you now. Nah, Shockwave is clearly the answer. And I'm still going to exhume my Master Strategy. Get my Dark Embrace going. No need to Reaper. Should I anyway? No, it might, it might save me later on. I'll, I'll let it live. Oh, he does hit me for damage now. Should have Reapered. Would have actually saved damage. Keep that Hyper Beam. Hell yes. So if he still hit me for damage there, how much damage is he rocking? Well, it shouldn't matter too much. I've got Riddle with Holes for free again. Game loves me today. Yeah, there is no chance you're doing damage to me this turn, Sunshine. I don't want my combust here. I guess I just hyper beam whirlwind you. This is absolutely a kill the transient deck. No, no, yes, yes. Uh, blood for blood. I wonder if you got reduced or not. Jesus. You're already vulnerable, but uh, why have you vulnerable when you, we can have you more vulnerable? I actually think Pummel is better to do before the Whirlwind as well. Okay. Probably not looking like a good day for you, my friend. Kind of a shame about the Reaper. Would have been nice to have the Reaper and get my health back, but can I win them all? Well, you know, I could. I could still draw that Reaper right now. Low chance, but it could happen. Maybe I should discard all of these in the hopes that I do get... No, let's not discard Carnage. Could save me. Ah, no Reaper. But I can kill you. Does Riddle kill 100%? That's 45 times 5. That's not a kill, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we got our lethal. I'm just trying to think of a way to pull Reaper out. I have one draw if I exhaust with True Grit, but then I can only Riddle with Holes. And that draw has a 1 in 14 chance of being Reaper and a 1 in 4 chance of being playable. I think we just go for the kill. Bye bye, transient. A20 kill. No problem. And I finally get the achievement. You can't see it because of chat, but it's there. Oh god, oh god. No, oh, it's already gone. Actually, I'm not sure if it ever showed up. Yeah, I don't think I have overlay showing. Okay, thank you, transient. I don't want any of this garbage. And I don't want any of this garbage. Where are all the high cost cards? That's our last ch- well, yeah, I think our last chance of getting some card rewards and we fluffed it. No Meteor Strike for us. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Are we sure? Maybe it was hiding there somewhere? This is what we dodged an Elite Relic for? I know, I know. The guards drop cards. Okay, well, gotta hope that we get that far. I'm not resting. I need one more upgrade. Uh, Dark Embrace is already upgraded, although it doesn't matter, it just reduces its cost, and it's randomized anyway. Uh, Body Slam upgrade doesn't matter either. 
Protect is a bit more block guaranteed. Disarm reduces strength further. Hyper Beam is a whole lot more damage. Now this could be really nice against... Uh... Oh, speaking of, why don't I just upgrade Whirlwind again? Hmm. Ah, no, I know what I upgrade. Shockwave. Five weakened Vuln. Absolutely. Okay, before I take on Time Eater, I'm going to take a short water break. I have depleted my bottle. It must be refilled. I will be back in just a minute. Now we can stare down Time Eater while we wait. There we go, go. I have no problem going long streams without eating. It's been six and a half hours, but no drinking? Unacceptable. I'm a Scot after all. Right, Time Eater. 480 health. Every 12 cards you play, he steals your turn, gains two strength, and smacks you. Which card can we draw to make our life easier? Master Strategy, of course. Although there is a strong argument for blind. Make sure that he is weak straight away. Hmm. Especially since blind will keep coming back. However, zero cost? I don't know, we already have shockwave. Purity could be good, but I've already exhausted my, car uh, my deck down to mostly good stuff. I don't really want to exhaust my opening hand either. I think Master Strategy is the correct option here, even if I don't use it now, I could always use it later. Hello Shockwave, hello Turn 1 Demon Form. Pretty so-so costs along the board, but this is Demon Form, Shockwave, Uppercut probably. I definitely want Demon Form going, this is my scaling answer to his everything. Shockwave to keep him weak and not beating my butt, black and blue. The uppercut is tempting, but I think what's better is to... Maybe even master of strategy and try and get some block going. And then brutalize him next turn, because Akabeko doesn't work well with anything here. 
Alternatively, I draw something that Akabeko is amazing with. This guy's gotta die. Mm, yeah. Well, there's Disarm, but there's Dark Embrace. That's pretty good, because that keeps the Art of War going for me. Immolate is tempting, as is Twin Strike, but again, I want to save that Akabeko. He's going to hurt me. He's going to hurt me quite a bit, actually, but them's the breaks. <laughs> want to hear my favorite joke for uh, Slay the Spire? Where does Time Eater work at? He'll tell you right now. Brilliant. Oh, hang on. He didn't actually hit me at all. I'm glad I didn't block now. Zero cost demon form. All demon forms operational right away. With pummel, whirlwind. Oh my, there's some good options here. What's better, pummeling or whirlwinding? 18 times 6. Well, the thing is, I have no block on this. My only block options is Crummy Flame Barrier. I do have the Fairy. It's not unthinkable that I just take some damage. I think what I should do is Pummel... Well, I don't know. 14 times 4 for 3. 18 times 6 for 6. Pummel gets the draw, but it doesn't synergize well with my Akabeko. With Demon Form, you can tank. Wait for the Reaper. Yeah, but I still need to deal some damage. There's also the option to disarm him. Disarming his block. Not going to Reaper now, that's for sure. I could actually disarm Flame Barrier and keep the Art of War. It's not amazing. But I still have a Whirlwind Plus and a Riddle with Holes. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Plus we draw thanks to our Dark Embrace. Oh, hello, Combust. I'm not playing you, but hello. Yeah, it's a little weak, but it's something. i got to play five cards this turn to trigger his nasty ability. Where he steals your turn and gains strength. Ooh, hello, Barricade. Ooh, this is going to be tough to play five cards on. Barricade, defend, shrug it off, true grit. And then I have to attack with, uh, with Whirlwind, even though I really don't want to. Ah, but shrug it off draws a card. That could help me out. Please be something I can actually use. You don't need to care that much about Akebeko. You're getting almost a full Akebeko a turn. This is true. But what if we just care about it anyway? I can play four cards, Barricade, Defend, True Grit, True Grit out the blood for blood, and use Protect. And then we still keep our Akabeko. Unfortunately... Oh! Akabeko Riddle with Hole's massive strength? I think so. Barricade. Defend. True Grit away. Blood for blood. And Protect. Come get me, you ugly escargot. Oh, hello, Foresight. Good to see you free again. Hello, Riddle with Holes. Good to see you brutalizing. For one cost, no less. Alright, well, Barricade in play. There's some obvious answers to my problems here, but Riddle with Holes seems like the obvious thing to start off with. I'm going to bring him down to just under half health so that he wastes a turn healing. And then we go in for the, the big hits, but I certainly want my Foresight in play. I wonder if he gets rid of the disarming that I do to him. I'll disarm him anyway. Get the flame barrier operational. And I still need to bring him a little bit below. I guess I carnage him. Better than adding a burn to my deck. There we go. Now I just... I let him be. Unless I think I could kill him. I could kill him. I could absolutely kill him. Right, you die. Now he wants to heal, but he does not get the chance. Get rid of anything that doesn't hurt like hell, please. And then... Oh, where's my Reaper, though? I'd love to get my health back. 
Hyperbeam already kills him. Let's see if we can get our health back. Draw one card, please. Hello, Reaper. Glug, glug, glug. Full health. We ate the entire Snail Lord. Is it Donudeka or is it the Awakened One? Mm. Awakened One. Who is not yet awake? Hmm. Ooh. Very, very powerful card, Enlightenment. Gonna take all those high cost Sneko rolls and turn them into one cost. We didn't get any high cost Sneko! <laughs> oh. Twin Strike doesn't count. I don't even want tr uh, Twin Strike on my team right now. Okay. Awaken one attacks a lot. I can kill his little gremlin buddies here. Barricade is a fool's errand here because I'm never able to block enough anyway. That whirlwind I think is a bit of a trap, especially when Immolate is free. Maybe I shouldn't worry about the Akabeko here at all. Because I can just immolate. Or I, I could even bash you to keep the Voln going. Immolate. These guys can die later. There's nothing saying it has to happen now. I wouldn't mind that shrug it off. I guess I'll just play this. I can play as many cards as I want. It doesn't increase any card costs. I do need some block going, so let's have you. Oh, hello, Whirlwind. Kind of wanted you next turn. Maybe I will barricade. I know he gets stronger, but only... Well, well, no, no. See, I want to play my demon forms. So I think barricade might be a bit of a trap. Immolate before the bash, Jake. Yeah, I could do with the extra damage on these scumbags, couldn't I? Alright, here you go. Whomph. Single Whirlwind kills the rest of you. Let's keep you vulnerable. Pommel will draw. Let's see what you get me. Because regardless what I get, I can Flame Barrier for some block and Whirlwind these chumps to death. Yeah, yeah forget that then. Warmth and farewell. Alright, Awaken 1 is likely to hurt me quite a bit. I will concede Barricade is tempting, but without an Entrench, it's not tempting enough. I don't have a good block engine. Mm. Yeah, nothing for it. Come on, Awakened One. Oh my, these are worth uh, spending, powering him up. Demon Form, Demon Form, Shockwave, Carnage, Blood for Blood. I don't care about his strength growing. Mine will grow faster. Shockwave will keep him weak for all of that. Thunk, thunk. Take your best shot. Oh god, he did. <laughs> he really, really did. <laughs> this freaking guy. He attacks every turn. There's no defense. It's after stars, members. Hyper beam, riddle with holes, protect, defend, defend... I won't play the expensive one, but I'll do everything else that I can. Wom. Let's just defend what we can. I'm not gonna play that Reaper, I'm not gonna worry about much. Hello, Foresight. Hello, some very expensive cards. Very expensive. Kind of tempting to exhume that shockwave and keep you very weak. But that's not very good either. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't very nice. <laughs> Body slam does damage though. Uh, yeah, if I can't hurt you and I can't change your form, we can do that next turn, but now is about to hurt. I guess it's 
Disarm, defend. And I'm not going to body slam so I get Art of War for next turn. A very unfortunate turn that, but the Sneko gives and the Sneko takes away. Crunch. Alright, Pummel is here to change things around. Pummel is going to make you uh, curl up and gur at me. Yeah, and that's just a given, isn't it? Yeah. Now you no longer power up when I use powers, so let's get Foresight in play. Can I even play anything? No. He just sucks like that. Uh, oh well, I don't think I want to combust, it's just going to hurt me. That's HP damage, you can't even block it. Alright, come and have a go then, Awakened One. He's got his five strength, what do I not want? Not really sure I want Whirlwind right now. I could maybe go for a Shrug It Off though. Oh, Riddle With Holes for free. Reaper. I should probably reap right now, just in case he gets me into kill zone, because he's about to hit me pretty hard. Well, maybe I could hit him pretty hard. I'm thinking I shrug it off. Maybe I draw a bash or a whirlwind, and then Riddle with Holes does nasty, nasty things to him. If that fails, I guess it's Disarm, Riddle, Carnage. Oh, oh my, that's actually pretty good enlightenment. I think. He thinks, but he's not sure. Does open up true gritting, reapering, disarming. No, it doesn't, because enlightenment isn't free. I'd have to drop something. He can multi-hit. 45 incoming, Jake. Yeah, that makes reaper decent-ish. Do we know he's doing his big attack, or could be hitting me for the multi-attack? If it's multi-attack, disarm is better. I think now is the time to Reaper, just to... It's the big one, for sure. Okay, in that case... Enlightenment, Reaper, True Grit, Riddle. would have liked to have healed a bit more out of that, but oh well. Mm, what's exhausting anyway? Well, Carnage exhausts regardless, so bye bye Carnage. Maybe I should have got rid of Dark Embrace. It's a bit of a dead draw right now. Yeah, it was the big hit for sure. Good thing we Reapered. It saved our fairy. Get rid of that burn. Get rid of that crappy little defend. I do need to hurt him, but I think it might be better to get rid of these in the hopes that I draw some multi-attacks. Well, what multi-attacks do I really have? Oh, I've got Whirlwind. Hey, there's Whirlwind. Kind of wish I had my Exhume right now. Is this going to do it? 5 times 38 is 150, 60. Yeah, you're dead. Oh well, nice knowing you awakened one, but unless I can somehow draw my Exhume... Yeah, now let's just take it. Take what we have, which is you being dead. Nice! A20 double boss fight complete! This was actually victory, but why win when you can super win? Let's take on the heart. You ready your blade? You deal 2093 damage. Hey, if it's above 2000, I'm happy. But the heart still lives. If you've played a little bit of Slay the Spire, you'll recognize this as being the point where your character keels over and dies, but thanks to grabbing all three keys, all of which come at a cost, we're able to approach this door and make our way over to Chapter 4 to get these three keys. You must sacrifice one campfire, you must fight one spicy elite, and you must sacrifice one treasure chest. We did all of that, and we still made it through. Let's go and take on the heart. Our final opportunity to rest or smith. Since I have Reaper, I'm less keen on resting. But what would I smith? Honestly, since Pummel exhausts, I'm not so keen on upgrading you. 
Riddle with holes doesn't become meaningfully more powerful with an upgrade. Disarm becoming disarm plus is actually quite nice. My block engine is so pathetic though, and I don't even have the money to fix it. Demon form is already upgraded, both of them, because I took an upgraded one and Dolly's mirrored it. We might have to be shrug it off. Or flame barrier? Actually, flame barrier is a pretty good idea. The other whirlwind is another good idea. But... I think it's going to be flame barrier. I could rest. Absolutely could rest. That's 14 health. These fights are hardcore. Do we have enough artifact removal for Disarm to be relevant? Mm, yeah, no, because Shockwave goes away. I guess the only one we have is... Um, a bash. <laughs> that is sad. Might genuinely be resting. 14 health versus... Well, flame, if you get Flame Barrier during the uh, the multi-hit from the heart, it could be really brutal. One of the saddest things is I don't know when the heart's multi-hitting or single-hitting. Mm. You know what, let's just go in with full health. Alright, before we can even think about the heart, we get to spend what little money we have left. At best, I could buy a crappy potion, and I don't want a potion to replace either of these, or an on-sale card. Well, can't afford a potion. Ah, oh, man, I'd love Mummified Hand. I don't want Havoc, I don't want Warcry, and I can't afford anything else. Where did all my money go? Really don't want Havoc. Not without Frozen Eye. Mummified hand is delicious. Yeah, can't have any of this. Farewell. Okay, spear and shield. Deep breath, mind blast, master strategy. Can't not be master strategy. So, I at least know that you're going to hit me for six times two and give me two burns on the top of my draw pile. This is a change that happens on Ascension 18, 19, or 20, I forget which one. But Spire Spear gives you two burns on the top of your draw pile, meaning on your second turn, if you still draw five cards, two of those are burns, and then you are in a very bad time. Spire Shield might be blocking or something, but he might be attacking me for 21. I don't know. And it's all very bad. And this draw is not very good. The one cost demon form is rather nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, definitely demon forming. And I may as well barricade. Hell, it's free. Probably gonna flame barrier. Well, I'm definitely master of strategy. What else do we have? Something good, I hope. Yeah. Flame Barrier, Pommel Strike, Twin Strike. To hell with Akabeko. Although, man, look at that Pommel. It's just not strong enough, though, that's the thing. But boy, do I need some damage. But no, I need some block, too. Mm. Boy, these are expensive. Willing to sacrifice 8 damage for a draw that might be better? Yes, I am. Hey, hello, Foresight! Hey, you know, I could go for a Foresight. So if he hits me, he hits me pretty damn hard and there's nothing I can do about it. Otherwise, the Spire Shield hits me a little bit. And we'll see. He did not hit me from behind. Instead, I just get hit from the front. Not bad. Only 2 damage. And we hard counter those burns with Foresight. And there's that body slam that I regret picking up. We'll keep the carnage. Could be good damage. Shockwave will make them vulnerable. Will not make them weak, but vulnerable is still good. 
clears out their last artifact. I don't know what happens this turn, but uh, what's a man to do? It allows me to disarm you, at least. Actually, I should have disarmed... Well, no, I couldn't have disarmed them both, could I? <sighs> I don't know who's going to attack me here. Not a Scooby. Since you buffed last time, there's a good chance you attack this time, and maybe you're just going to buff. But if I turn around, you might... Oh, doesn't he sometimes hit you for... 40 this turn? Jesus, I have no idea. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I know it's going to hurt, though, and I really don't have much block to speak. I don't really have any block to speak of. Tell you what, why don't we just disarm you while we're looking at you? And then... It's probably not even worth playing to defend. I just riddle Carnage Immolate. Alright, punish me. Ow. Ow. <laughs> well, we're 60 down. Hey, maybe that whirlwind can get me out of a grim situation. Well, maybe. It almost kills you. Almost. Couldn't I bash you? Then whirlwind you, and then I turn around. Because this is 50. Actually, th this kills straight away. But the question is, could I demon form bash whirlwind, turn around and look at this shield? Demon form bash does 13. Now you're down at 40-something, and then I hit for 50-something. That seems like a good idea. take it. Now I'm looking at you. Now I'm starting to think maybe I should have just... Well, whatever. Surely you won't attack me. Bollocks. Goodbye, fairy. I really wanted you for uh, the heart fight. Yeah, look at this. Look at this piece of work. That's what I get for not um, weakening him. And he's got that 96 block, so it's not even worth attacking him right now. Not that I have a lot of block my own to speak of. Alright, well, <clears throat> I probably could kill him, actually. 55, 46, drink him. Pommel strike what's left. 46 and 55. Alright, alright. I want some of my damn health back, you monster. Blah! Reap. Reap your just rewards. I'm onto the heart. Okay, every six turns gain one intangible. Ooh. First turn is buff. Then attack, then attack, then buff, then attack. Hey, sixth turn. I, as long as it's not a multi-attack, I might be... If I survive six turns. Might be on something. Right, the 11th hour. Where's that in trench? But there's my lightning. It'll do nothing if I ever hyperbeam. I can Vuln the heart. I don't like any of these. Actually, clothesline might not be the worst thing in the world, but... Nope. Okay, well, I got this far. I fancy my chances at something like 10%. Let's go, heart. What are we doing to your heart? I could make sure you're weak for your first attack, guaranteed by pulling blind, or I could get an attack. Guaranteed first turn. Enlightenment could save my day, though. It's either enlightenment or blind. Enlightenment will save me from a terrible, terrible draw. Enlightenment it is. Oh, but this was not a terrible draw! Demon form! Demon form! Disarm! Oh my days! What did I do to deserve this? Right, well, let's drink our liquid thorns. Right, what is this then? 
It beta deaths me for two every turn. I want demon form and demon form. I want disarm. Absolutely I want disarm. It's going to save me from his multi-hit attack. Although we don't know if it's going to be his uh, first or second attack. He won't hit me this turn though, that's fine. So it's one, two, three cards I want to play. For a total of three cost. I might have to hit defend first though and block some of it. Enlightenment first. Uh, if I do defend enlightenment, then I have four energy. Four energy, one block. Three energy, four block. And blip, blip. Hmm. I can also Art of War because I'm not playing any attacks here. Alright, I think it's Defend Enlightenment first. I don't have a buffer to worry about protecting here. Get my Defend. And my Demon Form. And my Demon Form. Get my other Defend. That way I can play Disarm and I take no damage this turn. There we go, now I'm safe from the multi-hit, but I don't know if he multi-hits or hits me big time on this next turn. Also, I'm going to eat a whole lot of debuffs, but okay. Can double demon form, double disarm with enlightenment exhume? I, I think he's already going to hit me for zero. Okay, so either he multi-hits... And I do not I take nothing or he big hits me and I maybe die. Oof, I got the void, but that's okay. Uh flame barrier, barricade. Maybe Reaper early. Just in case it's the big hit so that I can survive. Yeah, I can get Reaper back, that's a good point. It's a shame he's not vulnerable, but what's a man to do? Should probably blood for blood you just to get some damage rolling in right now. And I have to pray for the multi-hit. It's a 50-50. I don't want the burns, so I'm not gonna immolate. No! Oh, <laughs> it was not the multi-hit! Ouch! The pain! And I've got no block. Oh, not a bit of block. Ouch. I don't trust Pommel Strike to magically draw me some block either. Not that I have a lot of block. Well, this sucks. I could Dark Embrace Shockwave and hope that I draw some block, but he's going to take me down to 4 health, which is not where I want to be. Does he clear all debuffs? On the turn after this, does he clear debuffs? I can't remember. Not all, only minus strength. Maybe I should keep him weak and vuln for now. That riddle with holes is too good to pass up, though. I need to do some damage. And I kind of want Dark Embrace played as well. Puts me in a very, very bad situation, but what's a man to do? Alright, now he doesn't attack me, but if I don't get a block card here, I'm deed. Alright. Probably trigger it away that wound. Hello, 
Whirlwind. Yeah, probably it's just a Whirlwind plus you, but I'm in for a very bad time where this is going. Okay, now he's either multi-hitting me for a lot, or big hitting me for a lot. And I don't have defense against either. I think this is the end. Yeah, because he's got plus two strength. Yeah, yeah, this is absolutely GG. No re. Well, I'm the one reing here. Well, I do have Dark Embrace. Oh, I don't have anything that exhausts away anyway. Alright. Well played, Heart. You have destroyed me. Well and truly. Blonk. Turned a pretty brutal start with the Runic Dome into, honestly, a really good run. Yeah, we died at the Heart, but A20 is absolutely brutal. And not being able to see any enemy intents the entire game was just savagery. Nice try, Clap, says Levash. Why, thank you. The reason I play Slay the Spire is because I want to see more Slay the Spire. But sadly, nobody in this community wants to rise to the glorious challenge of this game. Just don't like to think that I'm festering quite the casual community, but maybe I have to face the facts. In any case, this is an excellent way to cleanse the palate after a stream of god-awful games. Earlier, just before this, I was streaming a bunch of variety games that I picked up in the Steam sale. All bar one, or one and a half of them, were absolute trash. Not really sure what I'm going to do with regards to refunding. But I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to spend my evening not streaming, but in playing and potentially enjoying some... Dragon's Dogma 2. It's finally out. I didn't like Dragon's Dogma 1, but I felt it was so close to greatness. Surely, surely this one. Uh, assuming that Dragon's Dogma doesn't completely destroy my schedule, I'll be back tomorrow, potentially with some DDR, and more potentially with the Dungeon Munchies long play. But until I am back with those streams, so cheers and cheerio.